the from the coal. Right? Yeah, so you've got like this. Uh, it's like yeah, it's like this hub, and you're in like a crater to okay. like shelter from the elements, <laughs> and you like expand out from this ring. What's um, the main like engine you have to kind of watch out for as you expand? Like, burn, burning coal, basically. It's like so how do you keep to, the people outside warm? Uh, you need to you get like research and you're like improving the generator. Oh, got it. But then that requires more coal, so you need to like. You know, so, nine more or whatever. So is Frostpunk like? Is it a serious game? Because the name Frostpunk makes sounds, it sound not yeah. serious. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like kind of a, right. It's it is. Goofy. It is a goofy name. Yeah, it's all it, like it's all about. You know, you've got like um, you pass like laws for your community, and there'll be things like forced amputations from frostbite oh, and okay. things. Oh, you know, okay. so, so it's like super or, dystopian yeah. or like right, or like you know, adding sawdust to food to make it better or like the decisions you need to make. Huh. See, it's like a really um, grim, <laughs> yeah. It's like a really grim sort of setting. Why expand if the way to do it is to add sawdust to your food? Right, because you don't have enough food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, speaking of food, James. Yeah. Uh, a situation where we might That's have enough food. That was really good. Thank you, thank you, Mike, and thank <laughs> you for agree. stepping Actually. on my t- thank you for stepping on my toes with that transition. Uh, we are going to be playing a game full of food tonight called Food Chain Magnate. Hey, I'm Scott. This is Phasing Players' stream of the Food Chain Magnate expansion, the second time we've done it. Uh, except this time we're doing some, uh, some different modules than before. If you watched the previous stream, which if you haven't, go check it out. We did the what, what Splatter recommends as the introduction modules, which is coffee and brand new milestones. And I figure in the rule book, they've got a whole list of recommended scenarios, how to mix the modules together uh, at, at their recommendations. And so I figure why, if, if we're, we like playing Food Chain Magnate, there's a whole bunch of modules to explore. Why don't we just go down that list of scenarios and try that different stuff? And so oh, that's what we're doing. This is, this is what Splatter calls the Korean city scenario. And we're using two modules in it, kimchi, which uh, I'll explain how that works in a second, and new districts, which are just new tiles that you mix into the into the pool, and uh, you're going to see all, just about all those here in, in this map, uh, and I'll explain those too. Uh, but today, just like last time, I'm joined by James here on my left. Hello. And uh, Mike over on his left. What's up? How are you guys doing? <laughs> Playing Frostpunk, Jimmy? You were saying? Yeah. Good. And, uh, uh, you think this is um, Seoul or like Pyongyang? Hmm. Because it does it does just <laughs> say Korean. That's what's so, right. Yeah. So it could be Pyongyang. I don't know how much kimchi they uh, produce in So I don't in really North know. Korea. Do so I know in North Korea they they like they just call themselves Korea, right? Yeah. Like yeah. They, it's not a North Korea. Yeah. Is is it the same in South Korea? Or do they just call themselves Korea or do they call themselves South I Korea? I think so. Actually yeah, I really now that idea. I'm thinking of it, I think so, but I don't know. They like I don't like, I know that the people call them I had a Korean friend. He was Korean. He wasn't South Korean, you know. Sure. Like he didn't differentiate. Sure. So, yeah, I don't know. I wonder. That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, so I guess to answer your question, I'm going to suggest this is probably what we'd call South Korea. Mm. That would be my assumption anyway. Mm. But yeah, maybe not. Who knows, right? Maybe yeah. maybe, uh, maybe uh, someone tweet, well, tweet the guys at Splatter and ask them if this is South Korea or North Korea. Not a lot of <laughs> capitalism in North Korea, right. so maybe this is... That's yeah, a... maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be playing uh, this, this, uh, this, this expansion scenario, I guess. Uh, we've set it up already, we have our starting restaurants, we've placed cards into the reserve, and uh, we're just about ready to go. So why don't we, Ben, switch over. Also, Ben, running the uh, running the stream tonight as usual. Ben. Hi, ben. Uh, so, Ben, why don't you switch over to the, uh, the table, and I'll give a quick explanation of how the modules we're using work. Awesome. Alright, so uh, this is the map as we have it set up. And it's just two modules we're using. Uh, and that is, to be clear, we are not using the new milestones. The, the scenarios actually recommend when you should use those and not. My Oliver, that is what we're doing. My cat Oliver might be chiming in now and again. Uh, so I liked the new milestones a lot. So I was, uh, if I'm being honest, a little disappointed to see that we're not using them for this one. But Splatter doesn't say to use them here, so we're not going to use them here. Anyway, so on the map here, we've got... Uh, the, the map looks probably pretty normal uh, for most people. I'll point out the new tiles. There's this one that has these two houses on it. There is this one that has house number 25. It starts with a garden. You cannot add another garden to it, by the way, just to be clear. Uh, there is this lemonade corner up here. It's got three lemonade tiles on it. Dumb. 
And uh, there are two more, sorry, there are one, two, three, yeah, two more, which are uh, this apartment building and this apartment building up here in the upper left. So these have funny numbers. This has nine and three quarters, which is a Star Wars reference as everyone knows. And uh, this over here is the pi symbol, which is, it just calls it between three and four, 3.14. And so when you're resolving houses, you're going to resolve this one in, uh, in between house number 9 and 10, which right now uh, they're, aren't that here. they aren't on the map. And you're going to resolve the pi one between 2 and 3. It's 2 over here, and 3 is one of the... In between uh, 3 and 4. Uh, sorry, in between 3 and 4. So yeah, uh, uh, three, 4 is here, and 3 is one of the placeable houses. So uh, the funny thing with these apartment buildings is they have a couple of special rules. One, you cannot put a garden on an apartment building. You can put a park, but parks are part of a different module. They're part of the lobbyist module, which we're not using. So there will be no parks. There's no increasing the value of those, uh, the goods sold at those apartments. The things that will be important here, though, are apartment complexes have no limit to the amount of goods they can have. Normally, houses can have three goods and gardens can have uh, five. But apartments have no limit. You can, you can stack it up with 50 items if you want. And you still have to meet all of that demand, right? So if you have six pizzas, a burger, and three sodas, it's only going to buy six burgers, you know, a beer, and three sodas, or whatever I said. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I know I just said it, but bear with me. And you can't drive through them, right? And, yes. Yeah, so it is, it, is, uh, it is obvious, I think, uh, but the rules do specify there are some roads that have little circles, kind of rounded edges. Those do not connect to the other side, so you can't drive through those. And this apartment complex has all rounded roads on it. Anyway, the other big thing with apartment complexes is when they are marketed to, you put two tokens of the thing being marketed onto there. So if someone has, let's say, this billboard right here, and it's marketing pizza, for each round, it would market pizza. Instead of placing just one on there, you're going to put two for each round. And so goods will stack up very quickly. This could get out of control very it, quickly. Yeah. yeah, I think that uh, apartment complexes will very much get out of control. I've not played with them before, so this is going to be new, uh, I think, to all of us. Uh, and that is really it for the new districts. Yeah. Uh, some funny, you, you cannot put a second garden on here, like I said, um, and the, the lemonade is the lemonade. The lemonade corner, just before we move on to explaining kimchi, I want to throw it out there. In the new districts, there's not like another one that has beer and one with soda. It's just the lemonade. The it's lemonade tile lemonade. was the only other it's one like, that like had a bunch drink of drinks one. on yeah, it. Yeah, just stupid. lemonade. Yeah. Also, can I point out also, we have no beer. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. We can we just can. throw these out. Just throw these in the garbage. Well, the... Uh, the no, uh, the errand boy can get them. The oh, errand boy right. can pick those you're right, up. You're right, you're right. Is that me? Yeah. yeah, Ben. Ben, the errand boy. Oh, my God. Uh, Give me a beer. <laughs> yeah. Really? No, uh, so... <laughs> Um, He's glad to help. Yeah. Uh, so, so that is the new district. They're just new tiles, and uh, the apartment buildings are kind of funny. The other thing we're using is the Kimchi Master, which, if we want to actually switch to my cam for a sec, we can see that right here. Gotcha. Maybe a little better. Uh, the Kimchi Master. This is the only Kimchi Master card that there will be in this game. It is. It is kind of a funny card. It's a one times employee, which means only you can only have one per player. If, if there were multiple, you couldn't get multiple. Also, because we're playing with three players, there is only one of it available in the game. It is also an entry-level employee, so you hire it just straight away. It doesn't upgrade. You don't train from something to the kimchi master. And it requires a salary. So in this setup, it is the only entry-level employee that requires a salary. Uh, Mike, I know you were talking like you were going to hire this fella right away. Just have money for it. I have a plan. Uh, yeah, it's so, going to be you. recruiting girl, waitress, kimchi. Yeah, Mike's pointing that's, at the waitress right now. Right. Uh, so, yeah, so the kimchi master is how you get kimchi. <laughs> and they don't produce it like, uh, like other goods. They don't, during the, the working nine to five, they don't make kimchi. They make it at the cleanup phase. The very end of the cleanup phase, they collect one kimchi, which means you don't throw it away the turn you make it. You throw it away at the end of the next turn. You can store kimchi in a freezer, but if you do, because it's just so darn stinky, you can't store any other type of good in your freezer with kimchi. But what does kimchi do? Well, kimchi is these little green, they honestly look sort of like, to me they look like ice cream cones with like a whole stack of ice cream on top of it. Uh, but these green little bits are kimchi. There aren't very many of them, which is 
probably good because we won't be using many of them. Kimchi is not really green. No, it's usually like an orangish, red. right? Like yeah, an orange, orange red. red. Are you sure this is the kimchi? This is the kimchi, yes. It's not like the broccoli edition. Right. No, no. The, the, the green one is the kimchi. It's because pizza's orange and soda's red. It would be kind of, I think, confusing to make it another color. Pink would have been good. That's sushi. Sushi's pink. sushi's pink, which, you know. Well, that's a bad color. For throw sushi. a piece of salmon on top of it. It's no. pink, man. Come on. Yeah. Nope. No, it's shaped, fair. too. It's shaped like, what, nigiri? Sashimi? No, sashimi is without rice, right? Anyway, we're, not, play, we're not playing with sushi. Uh, so what kimchi does is it gives, essentially, it gives priority to the person that has it that's trying to resolve goods or resolve sales. So let's say, for instance, a house wants a beer and a pizza. And I have a beer and a pizza and I'm right next to that house. I'm zero distance away selling my stuff. Heck, let's say I'm selling my stuff for a dollar and I'm zero distance away and I have that beer and that pizza. And Mike, he's five tiles away and he has a luxuries manager. And so he's selling his stuff for 20 bucks, plus he's five distance away. But with that beer and that pizza, he's got kimchi. They will go buy his stuff instead of mine. Uh, they will always buy with kimchi if possible when determining where they're gonna buy. Price, distance, none of that matters. If they can satisfy the order, they can reach the house and they have kimchi, they will buy it. Along, again, along with the rest of the stuff they want. Uh, additionally, by putting the kimchi master into the game, we are adding another luxuries manager in. So even though the luxuries manager normally is a one-times employee, there are two of it in this three-player game. And that's it. That is, that is what we're playing with, kimchi and new districts. The kimchi master is going to hang out over here by the rest of the, uh, the cards, which, again, I'm sure Mike is going to take it pretty quick. We'll see. But, yeah, that's what I, we're doing. I don't have a lot of headspace today. For, uh, any other, for any other uh, strategy than uh, waitress. Yeah. <laughs> All the way because yeah I've been up since the last two streams I was up since six o'clock in the morning before the streams for our At least West I didn't fly this time yeah for our Westphalia stream which if you haven't seen it by all means go check it out uh, Tom Russell designer of the game joined us and I think we had a lot of fun yeah it was good yeah. Uh, yeah Mike you were you were in Texas that morning yeah yeah I and yeah you, you flew in you landed and you and played some Westphalia landed drove over here or took a, took a bus and played some Westphalia it was great uh, doing it again. Uh, just to keep the trend going. I'm just yeah. keep packing my days. Doing full a bunch of, of work and then coming out here. Right yeah, before I'm I like do the stream. Two Sundays from now. Can you help me like move some stuff yeah. at six in the morning? And then come <laughs> do a stream. Yeah, and then come play something. Uh, so yeah, we're about to get started, but before we do, I just want to thank all of the people that have subscribed to the channel, that leave comments. Um, I'm actually always impressed by a lot of the videos I put up get a decent amount of comments and I've had a lot of fun engaging with the people that watch the videos and enjoy the content that we uh, that we put out. Uh, also, thank you so much, as always, to the people that have supported us on Patreon or PayPal. Uh, it, it means a lot. It's, um, it's certainly a great feeling when someone is willing to throw a few bucks, uh, bucks your way to show you that they really like what you're doing, they appreciate supporting you, or appreciate what you're putting out and like supporting you. If you want to be one of those people that support us, go to phasingplayer.com slash donate. Links to PayPal, Patreon, um, if you want to do ongoing subscriptions or just a one-time, throw me a dollar, or whatever you want to do. By all means, not obligated, but we appreciate every dollar we get. And uh, also, if you don't want to throw us money, subscribe to the channel and uh, enjoy stuff that we put out. That being said, let's play some Food Chain Magnate. Is there a link in the description? Uh, there might be. There should be. I just posted the, the, yeah, the link. Yeah, I think Ben, is, ben has posted a, a, a little thing Ben's on there. Always it's on there. there right now. Ben, you're hooking it up, man. Yeah, yeah. Also, your color uh, thing was, they, oh, they already have that color. Beers is green already. But these don't... Well, I guess you're right, because these don't go yeah, on the map. It's like the same green, you're right. too. You're right, yeah. You know, so, I, I take it back, like, Mike. I take it the, back. The, the kimchi is a little, is a little bit darker. Lighter. It's a little bit lighter, but right. come on. Yeah, the kimchi, if you look at the map here, the kimchi and the beer is super so do close a in lighter, color. do a lighter orange. A lighter orange. Would have been great. Or like speckled. Speckled orange. Yeah. The, the production cost. <laughs> yeah. You just made the splatter <laughs> guys go, oh, no. No, <laughs> no speckled. Uh, yeah, well, and kimchi never goes on the map either, which is another thing. You should paint those all white and then speckle them with pink yeah if we can get the agricola natural wood <laughs> yes yep. yes that's perfect. the one natural wood would be perfect there's no natural wood uh well yeah that would be perfect <laughs> let's um paint, let's uh let's say also in order of business here we're going to start this off i said i was going to open a window before because it was a little stuffy i'm still going to do that once we take our first couple turns i'll then get up and you've been take care of that you've been Dangling that, yeah. In front of dangling us. an open window for a bit. <laughs> yeah. You just uh, want to open a window okay. on a stream, which is you know what? A strange. You know what? Okay, Ben, switch, switch, switch off me for a second. I'm gonna unplug my microphone. Uh, I'm gonna go open a window. He's unplugged now. <laughs>
So uh, we, we should talk. All right. Um, <laughs> who wow. goes first? It's Scott, which is oh my gosh, this, no, no. this was this inappropriately timed. <laughs> well, we can point out where we where we put our uh, restaurants. So you sure if can. you go to the map, I put mine over here. My kind of idea is I'm going to try and get this stuff before they can. Jimmy put his there first, and I think it's a pretty good spot. Um, what's what's your idea here? I'm also pretty close to this nine and three quarters. That's a big one. Are you going to try and open up the other side? I would grab like to, this, yeah. Uh, ben, but you can also also get to yeah, it. Yeah, you can still there. reach the garden house. And Everyone then, can reach the garden And then house. Scott, like a true wiener, threw his right next to yours. But legally yeah. distinct. Like I'm, I'm one a legal, off. A legal, legal placement. I've actually just now noticed that this five houses. Yeah. It's on an island. Inaccessible. These are all, well, these two are islands. The 22 and the 5. Um, I'm so actually, yeah, if you would put one right here, you could kind of grab both. 22 is oh, no, not 22. No, 22 is right available. Right the, I, five is yeah, the 5 is on its own. I, you know, at some point we're going to get to the, um, the what is it? Maybe the lobbyist, actually. The, someone places new road piece bits. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, I'm, I'm the, interested to the try that The lobbyist can place new tiles entirely, too. New, well... They can place new road pieces. There's nothing s places new full tiles. I'm excited about the rural. I think too. the lobbyists can because that's how you get parks in the game. And parks are on their own. No, parks are little things like gardens. There is a tile. Oh, there's a tile with gardens. a pre yeah. one. Got it. Yep. All right, Scott, it's your turn. So I am first. So I. Uh, decide which one you want. Decide when you want to I'm, go. I'm going to go last in the turn. Sure. Ooh. I'm going to go second to last. Okay, Santa Maria Pizza going second to last, right. and that puts CF Faji Asian restaurant. CF Faji. Okay. Asian food, I guess, not Asian restaurant. Yeah. So, yeah, what, uh, what are you going to hire? Turn one. Um, you know, tried and true. I'm going to live and die by it with the classic milestones. Uh, I'm going to hire a trainer. Okay, great. Uh, Mike. I'm going to hire a recruiting girl. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to hire a recruiting girl if you want to pass that my way. Hey, you can have mine. I don't like that one. Cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, cool. Well, dinner time. Nothing to sell. Marketing. Nothing to market. Everyone starves to death. Clean it up, and it's time to uh, make yeah, our corporate ran out of structures. Coal for the generator and <laughs> make our corporate structures. We all good. Done. Flip them over. Hey, I'm starting a recruiting girl. Yep. Trainer girl. All right. Uh, well, we're all equal then. CF Faji, where do you want to go in the turn order? We'll go third. You're gonna go last. Okay, Mike, where do Probably you want to go? Probably doesn't right in this middle there. That makes me first. Actually, I want to go first. You want to go first? Yeah, I want to go first. Cool. I'm glad you said that, because I'm just going to copy what you're doing. Is that true? <laughs> Maybe. You're not going to copy this, because I'm taking the waitress and the kimchi master. <laughs> okay, well, I can't, you're right. I can't entirely copy that. Wait, when do I pay uh, salary? End of the turn. At the end of the turn. So I have to pay this now? No, end of the round. You'll get your money. I'll get no. You have to play the no because I'd have to play the waitress. Oh, you're to right. Get the money. You, oh, yes, you're right. Yeah, duh, so I can't obviously. take this. Obviously, yes. so I can't. I can't take. Yes, that you yet. can't. You can't. You, but you, I will next take. Round you I will it. take the waitress and a. Not gonna take another no, recruiting girl. No, I'm not huh? gonna take a trainer. Yeah, I'm gonna take another recruiting girl. All right, uh, hook me up with a second recruiting girl. Most definitely, I need that recruiting girl. Uh, realness. Uh, realness. What else you want? And uh, hmm. Pizza. Beer. Hold on. I got. I got to think here. I got to think because you're. Go I. I know you're gunning for that kimchi master. I'm trying to think how I can steal it from you. Because if I take a waitress as well, you'll get the five dollars as well, right? You'll get the milestone as well. But you'll. Because that's the only way to make it happen. But it? you'll go earlier in the turn, which means you'll pick up the kimchi master. We got a. We got a comment saying while the lobbyist employee adds park park tokens and roads to the board, the first lobbyist milestone. Does indeed add an un unused map tile yeah, look at to that. Look the at that. board. Adds a tile to the city. Okay. Yeah. Okay, James, you're right. I, I think you. I I feel like you didn't think of that. I thought you think the lines could add I, stuff. I, you're right. I don't own this expansion or the game. He's technically correct. Yeah. Which is yeah. That's kind, kind of correct. Yeah, in indirect, uh, you're unintentionally correct. Right. But yes, yes, you're right. The first lobbyist play, the milestone adds that. Uh, some of those new milestones are wild, and They're that's adding new stuff to the map. Bonkers, is crazy yeah. too. You still have a. Thing I know, to I know, I know. I'm. I don't think I can get the kimchi master without missing out on the waiter or the um, the recruiting girl milestone. So give me. Wait, a, what's the recruiting girl milestone? Uh, that is, you get two management trainees when you play when you hire three people at at, at one time. Oh. Okay. Uh, I know it's been a business. We played with the old yeah. uh, milestones. 
give me a... No, because you you'll be able to hire three people now. No, what I'm saying is what I'm thinking. So I guess strategically, just to kind of put it out there, I want to get the kimchi master instead of Mike. But to do that, I need to make some money, uh, which I guess I could. Well, someone would need to market and someone would need to sell. I would need to sell stuff then. But anyway, Mike is going to play a waitress next round, which is going to give you the waitress milestone where you make five bucks per waitress played. And that'll be enough to pay for your kimchi master Thanks that you'll pick that. up next turn. Yeah, that's right. I could also pick up a waitress right now and also get that milestone next turn. Yeah, right. But, but in the turn order right now, Mike is going to go first, I'm going to go second, and we're going to have the same number of slots. And so Mike will just say, I'm going to stay first, which means you'll get the kimchi master. So right. for me to go first, what I would need to do is make sure I have more open slots than you. Mm -hmm. But to do that, I would need to either not put someone into my structure which would mean not putting the waitress in so I don't make the money, right. or not putting a recruiting girl in, which means I don't get the first to hire three people milestone, which is better than, I think, getting the kimchi so, master. Long story short, I've outplayed you. <laughs> and, you know, now that I say that out loud, I may, what if the kimchi master is better than getting the recruiting girl milestone? Jimmy's going to get the trainer milestone, which would solve all of the kimchi master <laughs> right. problems. It would. Uh, also, uh, I'll actually, have fewer slots than you guys, so... You also have fewer slots. Give, yeah. me, give me a... Um, Give me a uh, an errand boy. It's a back one back. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Are you going to be able to snake it if you want it? No. Because oh, will it Jimmy? I think Jimmy will be able to. I'll be it, able to. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy could. Do I care? No, no. You'll much? go. Oh, you go. will go first because you have less yeah. slots. You guys are good. Yes, we are. I, I, I apologize. Right. I, I want to check my my thought process out a little bit. Um, so I apologize. It took a little right. while. You guys you but... hire a marketing trainee and train it. Mm. Brand, brand manager. manager. We all lose the trainee one. Or, Everyone but yeah, Jimmy. It should be a campaign manager. These are wrong. How nice it is to have a working dry erase marker, right, Mike? Look, <laughs> so it's, on the, it's on the grocery list, right? <laughs> it should be a campaign manager, the brand manager. Yes, it should be campaign. Time, it got mixed up a little bit. We were playing, uh, I don't know if everybody's played Captain, uh, Sonar. Captain Sonar before, but we were playing in all, almost all of my... Uh, <laughs> Put a smiley face. Can you can you hold that up, Jimmy? Yeah. Almost all of my uh, dry erase markers are dried out, which if anybody's played Captain Sonar, it is impossible. Can I switch yeah. over here? Jimmy's got his little it is smiley Im face. Impossible to play without dry erase markers. Yeah, uh, like literally impossible. To well, play. Yeah, actually, not... impossible to play without dry erase the uh, Captain Sonar. So what we did is we used permanent markers, <laughs> and then using the couple of working dry erase we had would erase those with Which that. Which is something I didn't know until you it's told me. It's a fancy that, little trick. Yeah. you can do Sharpies and then use a dry erase to erase Sharpies. I did yeah. that at work not that long ago. Did you My know? boss looked at me like I was a wizard. Yeah, right. Like, it's yeah. like, it is wizardry. Yeah, wizardry. Now, now, before you go drawing uh, permanent markers all over your uh, paper or carpet, uh, <laughs> it will Do only not work. Try this at home. It will only work on dry erase surfaces. Right. Essentially, it's, it's, for, it's for if you accidentally use a sharpie on a dry erase surface or like a dry erase board. Right. And then you can. It's not ruined. Right. Because you, you the, the the dry erase ink will like activate something in the like permanent marker. So yeah. To, uh, where you can then it's erase it. Good science. Everyone. It's, it's good science. Right. Anyway. We also had a quick comment here. Yes. You could also hire the kimchi master and fire her in the same turn, which would happen after all hiring, then postponing <laughs> it until you're better positioned to snipe it. That's not a bad idea. Uh, whoever said that, that, that is not too bad of an idea. Um, but you do waste a hire on I that, would though. waste a hire, and my other concern... So that wouldn't help me this turn, though. It would help Jimmy, maybe. Well, no, because you could just buy it. Right. Yeah. Hmm. I, I, hadn't, thought, I hadn't thought of doing that, but uh, that's, that's a good thing to keep in mind, actually, for just times one things in general. Anyway, uh, so we've all hired, right? We've all done our turns? Yes. Okay. Um, nothing gets marketed. Nothing gets added. Let's go ahead and uh, rebuild our structures. So Jimmy's gonna probably try to get kimchi. He could, but well, yeah, because he has one open slot. Yeah, right. So I can go first and just grab it, and I don't need to pay the salary. The big question right now, and this was a question for both of us, Mike, is is getting the only kimchi master in this setup better than, better getting, than getting the recruiting, the recruiting girl, girl? Or the yeah, the first to hire. Which gets you two two marketing trainees or management management trainees, I should say. Gets you two of these guys. Yep. Which is good. It's a very nice leg up. That is a leg up. But this is also a leg up. And no one else will be able to get that kimchi. Right. Do I... What do I do? 
the big so the question with the kimchi too is what are you going to be competing over right now with people before right. new restaurants and it's not up? much you and i might be competing over this yeah. we're both one away i'm hoping to just just sap this yeah you want to market to that yeah, that's uh, really my that hope. pie yeah i mean i apartment. think yeah, you're right i mean i wanted the chimney to give it to your girl but i need to not bail on my waitress gambit and waitress gambit is going to happen so all right i have three all right you're going to get that executive VP and load I'm gonna, up on it. I'm going to do, do my best. Let's go ahead and flip over our things. And you know what? For uh, for the people watching, why don't we say what we're putting out to? So uh, why don't we go in turn order? Mike, what do you have? Two recruiting girls and a waitress. Which is going to be the first waitress out there. I got the first waitress. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and mark that off now because you will get it. Mm -hmm. uh, I am second in turn order, and I have two recruiting girls and one errand boy, which is going to get me the first errand boy played. Oh, I need to mark that up. Yeah, mark, mark off first errand boy, mark off... Uh, Whose first errand boy get you? You get All extra drinks. All buyers get one plus one drink. From each source. I will also be hiring uh, three people in a single turn. And uh, Jimmy's going to be the first campaign manager, which is nothing unless you post a billboard. Mm -hmm. oh, I got to mark waitress too. Anyway, uh, so Jimmy, you get have first choice. a campaign choice. manager and a trainer. I will go first. Campaign manager and trainer, you have one surprise, open slot. Surprise, surprise. Mike, where do you want to go in the turn order? Um, second, please. Yep, and I will go third, bringing up the rear. James, what are you doing? Um, I will be... Let me get that dry erase, please. Thank you. Uh, hiring a... Kimchi master. Just say it. Could pick it up. I could just pick up the kimchi master. Is that what I want to do right now, though? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hire a kitchen trainee and train it to a pizza cook, actually. Okay, big time pizza. And I will be... So you bailed on the kimchi master. Just because I could get kimchi doesn't mean I need kimchi or even actually wanted kimchi. Yeah, it is interesting. I just like... realized that I could do it like i said right now we're not really going to be competing over much initially so right. the question is do you want to put that kimchi master in your pocket so later on you can one-up people yes is and you might yeah i feel like you do mike um, um, and i will be doing a campaign okay. for pizza mailbox or a billboard a billboard okay so you're gonna get first billboard place which one do you want uh it'll be number 14 please a little baby number 14 I'll be going so that's gonna be first billboard place uh makes it an eternal Ooh. billboard Pizza will be infinitely shackled to that apartment building. This apartment building, and you're okay. hoping to you're also fill first that pizza infinite market. pizza. Yeah. So yeah. The dream is the dream is well. infinite pizza, and I can produce infinite pizza. And you get plus at five at my Asian restaurant for <laughs> pizza. Yeah. Uh, so I'll say, uh, speaking of a, like getting pizza at an Asian restaurant, something that I've always wanted to do because I've been curious is. Okay, can I, Jimmy, you put a square on the billboard, but yeah. you put a smiley face on the other things. I'm upset. I'll make it a word. It's terrible. I'm upset. <laughs> uh, whenever I go to Chinese restaurants, they always have towards the back of their menu, like, pizza or hamburgers. Hamburgers is the big one. Urban Vegan has, you know, it's all, like, vegan Thai food. Mm -hmm. And then they have vegan... I guess American food too on their menu. Like they, they're like, oh, we've also yeah. got the Beyond Burger, and I'm like, that's interesting. Well, that's good to know. I don't want that. But. I've always wanted to try the like cheap hamburger from a Chinese restaurant, <laughs> just out of curiosity, right? It's we probably all, just frozen. Probably just they. Frozen it's pack. probably yeah. Anyway, it's frozen, frozen, frozen hamburger. We also have a quick. Uh, someone wants to know if we're playing with the hard choices module. No. No. We are, uh, not. we are not. Thank you for that question. Uh, I when I was initially kind of considering this scenario. I first assumed it had the new milestones, and I assumed it had hard choices. But it does specify in the scenario book when it has new milestones or hard choices as part of that scenario. And the only thing Korean City has is new districts and kimchi. So no new milestones, no hard choices. Thank you. I am hiring... Thank you for the question, too. I am hiring trainer, waitress, kimchi master. Whoa. There it is. Trainer, waitress, kimchi master. Uh, cool. First so, to hire three. First to hire three, I so did. go ahead and take two management trainees. Do you uh, need your I'll, two? Yeah, I'll, give me two of those as well. Because you're going to do I'm it. I'm about to do that. I also, when do I get my five bucks? Uh, you get it, I so think the it's the, the end of the round, yeah. Before you fire. Yeah. 
But after you... Yeah, after dinner time. After dinner time. Got it. Okay. Let's hire a trainer. I'll need one of those. Let's hire a kitchen trainee. Also, Mike, thank you very much for handing out these uh, these cards. Mm-hmm. And give me a... Mike has the kimchi, which is going to be tricky. Give me a... Give me a marketing trainee. So yeah, trainer, kitchen trainee, and marketing trainee for me, please. You got it, boss. Thank you. Okay, uh, now it is time, uh, dinner time, nothing gets sold, but in marketing, stuff does get marketed. Yep. How many turns did you market this for? Well, it's eternity. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot, they're, they're, yours are eternal, of course. <laughs> My campaign well, manager is uh, shackled yeah, to the billboard. It is literally affixed to the billboard, screaming pizza. They installed Pizza. them. This it, maybe uh, they installed them inside the apartment building. Oh yeah, they're not billboards. Like so much of their posters, right? Stuck all yeah, over. Yeah, it's on your door. I think yeah, yeah. your yeah. door is like, made of pizza right. boxes. I think they took the marketing <laughs> trainee into the basement of the apartment, murdered him, and now he haunts the apartment building, telling oh, everyone that could be. to ghost eat trainer. Pizza. Yeah. I ghost think they marketer. maybe they uh, shovel old pizza into the <laughs> furnace <laughs> to smell it to make it smell like yeah. it. Like you that. can't sell it for food, but right. you can sell it for fuel. Yeah, well, it's bad pizza, but it still smells good. Yeah, it still smells good. That's yeah, kind of the thing about bad yeah, pizza, right? Here's it still the smells here's good. Here's the thing with pizza. Uh, great. So uh-huh. we've marketed now, and uh, it is now time to move on to the end yeah. of the uh, end of the round. Five beans. But I, first, but I spend those five beans. Yeah, right, right. back. But I still get first. No, first nothing. There's no first to make first five to dollars. Make dollars. <laughs> there is first to have twenty dollars. Yeah, you get to take a look I'm, at. I'm the, trying uh, to get that. Yeah, maybe. you take a look at the reserve cards. My opinion, I think that's the crummiest. Uh, I think. It, I think it depends. I kind of agree, but I think at. I think at certain levels of play, when you can plan out certain strategy, I think it can be beneficial. I think if you're playing in a like four or five player game, it can be really good to see True. what do I need to do. Do I need to go and break the bank really soon? Do I need to, or can I, you know, do I have time to play the long game and make sure? Okay. But I feel like we usually play with three, and it's just not that useful. I think three player food chain is my favorite set. I agree. Um, five is too much. Four is good too. Three and four are the, are the, the player counts I, I really I like. I yeah. forget too. I need this because I don't ever remember what upgrades to what. Sure. <laughs> I need the make, menu. Make sure that's the correct one. It's not. It's not. Not at all. Uh, there is, it's, it's the next one. All right. Let's see here. Just in, someone in the chat has had a cheeseburger at a Chinese takeout restaurant. Oh my goodness. It was exceptionally mediocre. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. And also, the uh, someone else, the kimchi master can be valuable to play even if two players aren't competing. It gives a player an extra item to sell even if the house is full of demand. Yeah, does that make that's sense? fair. Yeah, it does make an extra 10 bucks. True. If that if True. a house wants a single item, the player with kimchi will we'll sell two sell items. That's, yes, double they, they the, double the money. Kimchi. Double. That's right. true. That is a good, very good See? point. Thank, thank you, whoever uh, whoever called that out. I, I do appreciate that. Kimchi master is hopefully gonna start paying for herself. Yeah. This is. Um, I like going trainer first when I when I play this. I feel like it gives me more flexibility, but I do feel like I get put in a situation where I'm like, oh, if I want to be able to sell these pizzas on marketing. I can't take this kimchi master. Right, so sure. I just sort of gave it to you. Uh, in the of getting a business going. Thank you for it. Man. All right, so we're all set up right now. Let's uh, let's go ahead and reveal. Flip flop. Great. So, wait, who's first? You so go. first player is James. Jimmy, yeah. what did you, you play? I'll uh, stay first. Okay, well, talk about who you placed who you first. Placed? I placed a trainer and a pizza cook because that's all I have. It's all you have, and it's maybe all you need right now. Right. Uh, all you fantastic. need in life is a life coach and a pizza cook. <laughs> A hot pie and a guy that tells you to do more sit-ups. Yeah. Another one. Right. Uh, all right. So, uh, Mike, what do you have? I played a uh, trainer, a waitress, to pay for my kimchi master, who I also played, plus two recruiting girls and a management trainee, so I can play all that. You got too many people. Oh, whoops. That's not three. That's two. You only played one management trainee. You're right. So, as per the rules, now, we've, we've always played this nicely. No, you're right. And you're I'm right, okay right. playing it nice right now. But I, if you can do it. It makes sense, right? Because I can still do that, and I'm good. Uh, you can. So, uh, right. Well, not can, the way that you're. I can do. Nah, not the way this, it laid that, out, basically. That. So, rules as written. I can do that. Rules as written. If you have too many people in your structure, you throw them all aside, and you don't play any <laughs> of them this turn. 
we've always played it nicely. And I'm willing to continue to play it nicely. I think nicely is the uh, only way to do it. Yeah, because you know otherwise if, people if, if, you look at our, if you look at our previous stream, when I said, whoops, I screwed that up. Can I take this back? You guys said, no. <laughs> it depends well, on what yeah. it is. It's it depends different. on what it if is. If I had screwed something up that I wanted to do but didn't, that's a different story. Then you're fine. I'm not. Then I'm not going to be a wiener. But then I put something yeah. down that doesn't that isn't legal. We're ra- saying, we're we're razzing it. Check, like, check the record. Check the last stream. It depends You'll on see. what it is. Not one to one. Depends on what it is. Uh, Mike, you've had a long day. You can go ahead and say you played that. Appreciate it. I just, I just, this is it. I just remembered them having three. Next time we take the junior. It's the junior VP. That's only a big problem if Mike wins. Right. That's yeah, there, there's an asterisk on this whole play if Mike wins. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Honestly, if anyone wins, there's always an asterisk. It's like, well, on, you benefited because Mike cheated. There's always an asterisk on whenever anybody wins. Yeah. <laughs> you just uh, always okay. have to say so, there's a caveat. So, uh, James, where do you want to yeah, go? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go first. Okay, Mike, where do you want to go? In the I'm right there in number two. Uh, that puts me in number three. Cool. Um, I'm going to go. Oh, ahead. Scott, you didn't say who you played. Oh, you're, of course. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I played a very similar set to Mike. I played two management trainees that I got for free as well as a marketing trainee. It's going to put a billboard somewhere. Two recruiting girls to hire a couple more people, a kitchen trainee to make, I don't know, probably pizza, and an errand boy to make myself some soda pop or beer or lemonade. But yep, I got, I'm got. i going to make some stuff and uh, throw it away and get a freezer. Uh, ben, could you mute my mic? I'm going to stand up for a sec. Yo. All right, you guys have to talk or it sounds weird. Yeah. What? <laughs> um, go ahead, Jimmy. Yeah, here. I'm gonna go ahead and hire a recruiting girl. Uh, and yeah, everybody gets quiet when he's like, uh, "What? Well? Yeah. And she doesn't train up to anything, which is fine. Um, so uh, I'm going to. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry, I won't hire a recruiting girl, but I will hire a management trainee and hire her up to a. Or, uh, yeah, I have a management trainee up to a junior vice president. Cool. Do you need a beer? Oh, that'd be great. My turn. Okay. <laughs> I make a kimchi, right? Thingy bag, can't you? Yeah. Can you pass me the kimchi bag? Uh, yeah. No, you don't make it till the end of the round. Yeah. Well, I still get the bag. Cause great. I, I also make pizza. You don't make it till the end of the round. I make pizza now. You don't make kimchi until later. Shut up! Don't you know anything about uh, no, cooking? No, I know nothing about kimchi. Um, okay. It, it takes time to ferment, which is maybe what oh, that represents. Maybe that's what that I don't represents, know. yeah. That's clever. Yeah. What it is. That is clever. Okay, I'm going to first hire a management trainee, which I'm going to immediately train up to a junior vice president. All right, Ben, I'm live again. For my other two waitress, for my other two hires, I'm going to hire one, one waitress, and I'm going to hire one... Marketing, no, no, yes, no. <laughs> no. You sound conflicted. My you friend. sound very conflicted. No, Aaron boy. One Aaron boy. All right. That's it for me. Okay, James. I went. Oh, first. you went. That's right. You went. I sorry, know. I was up. I made pizza. I'm sorry. I was up getting everyone a beer. Yeah, I appreciate that. Are you <laughs> going to get in a beer with your orange boy? Uh, yes, okay. So I am going to first. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I should get two. I get two beers. The very exclusive, as we mentioned earlier, very exclusive beers. Uh, all right. So I'm producing that. I am going to uh, also produce. I know I hire I first, I suppose. One. Yeah. So let me hire a, another kitchen trainee. Thank you, James. Let me hire another. Mm, let me do a management trainee. That's a very, very good try, Mike, on that yeah. throw. And let me purpose. get. It was a power move. Another. Let me do another marketing trainee. I have a feeling, I'm, so I'm thinking, I feel like kimchi is going to really be strong if there's not a lot of opportunity on the board. Yes. Uh, because if there's only a couple places selling things or want, demanding things, kimchi is going to be taken and you know, one of them every turn. But if there's a bunch, you can maybe you know, steal some of that away. Uh, all right. Then get me, let's say, a burger with my kitchen trainee. And I'm going to go ahead and mark it. Let's mark it a billboard over, I'll 
do a big boy. Ooh. Let's do this billboard <laughs> right here. So someone lives in China, and they have had countless cheeseburgers there, but it's more common that a burger restaurant there will have Chinese food at the back of the menu. That <laughs> Chinese food is almost always mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds, sounds like, funny. It sounds so like universally if it's yep. at the back of the menu. <laughs> the that's, that's funny. Also yeah. true. <laughs> I, 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 re I do appreciate that, that uh, heads up. I hadn't thought that it would flip uh, elsewhere. Uh, cool. So I'm yeah, marketing a hamburger. Uh, and you know what? No, I, sorry. I, I apologize. I said a hamburger. I want to merge with uh, beer. Yeah. That's my bad. I sorry. I, I apologize. You're gonna have to erase that. What you just wrote down, Jimmy. You know, I'd be so much more suspicious of a burger restaurant selling Chinese food than a Chinese yeah, restaurant actually, selling burgers. I actually agree that. Like, yeah, for some reason, it would be much more like, "Hey, what are you doing?" Yeah, what you can this? you can guess that somebody might just have the fixins for I'll a burger that, like, at any restaurant, but that a burger restaurant's gonna have like lo mein. I don't know. And I produced the first burger, which mm -hmm. gives me a burger cook. Burger cook. Not that I'm going to yeah. keep that. I actually um, get a pizza cook for producing the first pizza. True. Uh, I mean, this person's going to be fired in just a minute, and I, I suspect. But uh, great. So uh, my turn is over. Let's move on to uh, dinner time. We've got these pizzas for sale over here. Pizza and for I sale? I think we've only got one person that has a pizza to sell. Yep. Oh boy. Pizza for sale? Pizza's falling on the ground, but you can right, still sell it. I'm going to sell this pizza, these two pizzas, to they're apartment gonna, I'm nine, just going to set them aside because they're going to show up yeah. again. Uh, here is a, cool, a 20. I need $10 more, though, because I marketed the first pizza. Do as I will right. do forever. Cool. All right, and um, for those watching, we are using poker chips. The white chips are ones, the red chips are fives, the blues are tens. And we are playing with the greens as 20s. I know typically they're 25s, but in Food Chain Magnate, everything is kind of done in 10s in for a while. No 18xx So we're switching those to 20s. Here. There's no trains here. Yeah, it's, um, I'm going to buy, buy Stock and uh, Mike's Kimchi Company. All right, so pizza sold. Now we're moving on to uh, marketing. And uh, I'm going to market a beer to these two houses. And we're going to get two more pizzas right there. I've, I, by the way, I did my marketing trainee for two turns on beer. And great. Uh, Mike, you get your $5 for your waitress, but it's going to come right back because of the kimchi. That's right. Uh, I get a kimchi. You get a kimchi. And Scott, I believe you and I are the first to throw away food, which yeah. means James, you are correct. A miscalculation on my part. Kimchi doesn't get thrown away fast enough. Yeah. True. Very annoying. Comes in at the very end of a turn. Because I thought I would also but, Yes, you that. can store kimchi, however... Uh, well, no, it just doesn't. You get don't thrown. get it till after. The I just don't throw it away until later. Which right, blows. right. You can store it if you have a fridge. No, no, no. I mean, just like to, to, yeah, to get. But the you, to you needed to do something else to get the fridge. In this case. the beer king. I'm gonna crack another beer. You've all played right into my beer plan here. You're all <laughs> drinking beers, and I'm selling them. Well, I mean, I'm not selling them, but right. I will be selling them. Yeah. Uh, in you know, conceptually, you can sell them. Yeah, in theory, I could sell them. I'm really not doing well in the milestones categories. I'll tell you that much. Uh, you have waitresses. That's you the, like waitresses. That's the one. Two. I have two. Yeah. Um, it's the only good. one you uniquely have is the waitress. It's not right. looking good, right. Jimmy. Uh, great. Well, when does this get thrown away? Uh, it would be the end. It'd be when you throw away food next turn. Okay. Bummer. Um, cool. So uh, we're done. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and make your turn. Make your structures. Uh, for those of you watching, have you guys played the Food Chain Magnet expansion before in any capacity? Uh, and if so, have you used these uh, these modules? This is the first time we've used these modules. So I'm sure we're going to do stuff that's not entirely good. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, hopefully it's hopefully it's informative to people uh, watching or at least entertaining. We did uh, kimchi and some other modules oh. off. I need to fire my burger cook also. Uh, off stream, and that was a disaster. Yeah, we just mixed a bunch of stuff yeah. together, and it did not go uh, well. Yeah, kimchi and sushi and a billion other things did not go well. Uh, that is true. And we called it after we broke the bank the first time, because I was making like ninety dollars a turn. Yes. Selling to houses with gardens. Okay, I'm ready. To, hold on, I'm not quite ready yet. Let's put her back. 
Okay. I am ready. Let's go ahead and reveal. Great. All right, uh, so first is James again. Um, Jimmy, what have you played? I've played a trainer and two pizza cooks and my JVP. Your junior vice president, you have two open slots. Yep. Uh, Mike, you're second, so what, uh, what did you play? Waitress and a recruiting girl, errand boy and kimchi master, and a trainer. So pretty similar to last time, but you have that kimchi ma or the errand uh, boy. I have the errand boy this time. Okay, and uh, I'm also very similar to last time. I've got two management trainees, a marketing trainee, a trainer this time, two kitchen trainees, and an errand boy. I have no open slots. Mike, I see you also have no open slots. James, you have two. I'm gonna where do you want to go in the go turn? Go first. Okay, Mike. Staying where I am. Second verse, the fourth verse, same as the first, second, and third. That's right. Uh, all right, James, take your turn. Uh, I'll go ahead and um, hire a recruiting girl. Uh, strictly speaking, I did not need to um, play this trainer because it doesn't train to anything, but. I'll produce uh, a cool six pizzas. That's too many pizzas, bruh. Uh, oh, wow, you, you have two pizza cooks. Yep. That's All right. too many pizzas, bruh. It's a lot. Yeah, well, now I can lay off the pizza production because I'll sell everyone a bunch of nasty reheated pizza. That's true. Are you all done? Yep. A bunch of jazz. Well, right. What is your favorite I'm going cheap to pizza? Pizza like, Hut. Uh, I'm sorry, cheap frozen pizza. Cheap frozen pizza. Um, like Jack's Tombstone, you know, a bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I've historically enjoyed Tombstone. A Red Baron. Sure. Yeah, Red Baron. That's yeah. another one. That's another cheapo uh, frozen pizza. In my head these days, I consider I like I put DiGiorno into like a cheapo mm -hmm. frozen pizza, even though they're a little pricier than like the. Cheap, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna train up my junior VP to vice president. Like you can buy on sale Jack's pizzas like I'm going to hire for like five bucks. Yeah, right. They're, or they'll do like 10 for 10 and you're like, yeah, that's insane. Yeah. That's a lot of... I, I have a soft spot in my heart for Jack's. I, I, I ate a lot of Jack's as a kid. Two. Yeah, I think Red Baron was my... So uh, someone mm. has played uh, New Milestones, Hard Choices, New Reserve Cards, and Ketchup. Loving them so far. Um... I'm, he's actually this person. I shouldn't say he. This person's actually a little met on the base game, but uh, but they rather like the new game now. Um, Interesting. I've uh, been keen to try coffee, especially after watching uh, the most recent of our of your uh, streams for this game. Oh, cool! Yeah, coffee was really neat. Yeah, I liked coffee quite a bit. I thought it was interesting. Just how you had to like physically orient what you were trying to sell to yeah. capitalize on it. It adds like another logistical element to the game. Okay. That's my, your turn. My favorite thing about slaughter games turn. tends to be just staring at the board, Goodness. going, Goodness. "Oh my god!" You're on the table tonight. Yeah. You got your fingers. Try to your avoid cards. slamming the table, Mike. Shut up, Ben. I'm just yeah. looking Bo for the quality, booth guy, Ben, with the quality of the about. stream. Nobody right. wants to hear you banging on the table. Don't I, tread on me, man. Don't make me put <laughs> on my. Don't make me put yeah. on my, my flag that I have. Love it or leave it. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Also magnet. Love it or leave it. <laughs> uh, let me get. My one hire this round is going to be a pricing manager. Someone's also played Night Shift Manager, Coffee, Fry Ooh, Shifts, look at that. New Milestones, Hard Choices, Someone trying to Rural in. Area, and New Districts. Holy cow, in one game or in, oh, in I think there's everything. I think really over played. several games. Because okay. yeah. there is, in, in the, the, the collection of scenarios, the last one is everything. Oh, it is oh, everything right. except for... With six players, it's, which sounds yes, terrible. Yes, six players doesn't but, sound great. But yeah, it's everything but Hard Choices and something else and it's no I hard choices because you're using the new I milestones think it's just so. no hard choices maybe you're right maybe you're right well, this uh, person doesn't say that they play them separately so it could be oh, all yeah. in one and then i am making a pair of beers and i will also pick up some pizza pies let's see yeah, I'll pick up two pizzas. Scott, have you watched the new XFL? I have. I've watched several games. How is it? It's good, actually. I it, it is clearly less, uh, like not as high quality of of play as the NFL. But who cares? They're not playing against NFL teams, so like, it doesn't really matter. 
They're a lot of fun. The rule changes are um, the rule changes are good. I think. I think they're positive. Uh, they, marketing, by the way. Are they more dangerous at all? No, no. I, I would say less dangerous. Really? Yeah. <laughs> they've done some stuff to try and uh, curb some of that. Let's put this. The same person loves coffee, most because uh, they were selling luxury coffee for twenty dollars yeah. plus, plus French fries. That's they were making more money than the houses selling dinner. Yeah, it's wild. Uh, Jimmy, you won our game on stream. Uh, large, or Mike won, but yeah, you, Mike you came won, in a close second, close, yeah. largely off of coffee. Uh, I am marketing. Yeah. I'm dropping a marketing billboard. You really Pete right Buttigieg to my Bernie. Uh, I'm doing two rounds. Hey, let, let's keep the 13. politics out of this. Uh, <laughs> doing this. Don't tread on me, man. God damn it. Uh, all right, facts. and then... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to put pizza out. I'm going to I'm gonna take burgers instead. Sorry, Mike. I can't handle burgers. the truth. And I'm going to train my management trainee up to a junior vice president. Stop copying me. Oh, did you do that? No, I did the vice president this yeah. year. I did that last year. Oh, you're one ahead. You're one ahead. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. I'm trying to get to EVP I know. first. That's Historically, that's been my favorite like thing to do in this game is to get an EVP and then just load up on kitchen trainees and errand boys. Mm -hmm. So you're not paying salaries and you are able to produce a ton of whatever you want. My plan is that... But also having waitresses on the back burner in yeah. case I don't have anything yeah, yeah. I can make money on. Yeah, the same person said it was actually worth it for them to not meet demand so that families could stop at their coffee shop two to three times two out of three times on their way to dinner. Or like two or three times at I forgot that's times. how coffee worked. Yeah, it's whenever crazy. you pass, you yeah. continually buy coffee. I think all I right. forgot that. So I've played all my stuff. Uh, let's go ahead to dinner time. Starting with house number nine and three quarters. Pizza. Two pizzas. Mike, you're not making any pizza? I don't, no, I don't have okay. any. No. You could have been taking that. You could have been I know. That. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to do so terrible. next turn. All right. Uh, $13, please. Or $30. Okay. Well, that's, yeah. a, that's a very weird amount yeah. all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. I've been playing my secret pricing. <laughs> I'm hoping to do that next turn, Scott. All right. Then we have number 16, which I have a beer. You also have a beer, but you also have kimchi. So you can get to this, right? Yep. That way, over here, around there. This guy works. went, I'm not going there for beer. I'm going to go get beer and a kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's dinner for me, beer and kimchi. All right. So that beer sells. Mike, you get $10 for the beer, and you get $10 for the kimchi. I feel like... Uh... And this number 21 is going to go to me, selling my beer. And because I'm the home of the original beer, cheers. <laughs> so, you get extra. I'm going to sell it for 20 or $15. Good job. And I have one salary to pay. I would try a beer that had kimchi in it. Like, oh, I like bet. Some sort I, of bet. Like kimchi I bet beer. you can. You think anybody's made that? Oh, yeah. There's yeah, no way sure. they haven't. I've had uh, I've had a few different beers that were like I'm storing beers my food with peppers in them, or you know, that were brewed with peppers. spicy beer. Yeah, 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 I've had a couple of those. Uh, uh, so all right, kimchi it, would be weird. so yeah, it this be continues weird. to market. It might make the kimchi bit maybe make the kimchi better. This is my last turn for uh, my beer marketing. I'm looking at you, Ben. And I see you. I'm saying it might make the kimchi the hamburger. <laughs> That's true. You don't like kimchi? No, I love kimchi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, one of the one anywhere. of the favorite places for uh, Haley, my wife uh, and I to go is uh, Cho Sun Oak, the Korean place just up Lincoln here in Chicago. But which Korean place is it? Oh, that's a good question. The one on Berto? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Berto, yeah, that place is Berto awesome. and Lincoln. Yeah. I don't know that I could eat the hot pot there anymore. That I yeah, stopped eating meat. It's, it's I went, one, I went yeah. once as a vegetarian, and uh, there's a veggie thing you can get, but it's not great. It's, well, it's just like veggies. It's just like veggies cooked on the skillet. So, like, sure. you're really kind of missing everything. No, it, it's really, as far as, like, diets go, it's got to be the most dietary restrictive place because mm -hmm. you pretty much want to go there and get beef. Right. So, if you're a vegetarian, you're not going to eat any meat. Obviously, you're not going to want to go. Some people try to limit their red meat intake, which means you're probably not going to want to go. Uh, and so, the, at the top, you're getting a I, ton of beef. I would consider, like giving myself a pass one day to go again because I do remember it being really good. It is really good. Yes. Are we doing new, uh, new, new, new? Yes. New, yeah. Next uh, next round. I know we're being a little chatty tonight, but you know, you know what? You get together and play games, you chat. You chit chat. Hey, you miss your friends. You know what I mean? You chit chat. Yeah. You ever heard of that before? That's why I like... You I've said that? this so many times, but that's why I like board games because you get to be around people. You do. It's true. That's why I've never, I've never bought into the tabletop sim. Oh yeah, the, you uh, know what? the it's, PC it's game. About, I'll say I'm it, sure I'm, it's not. I'll say I'm it before. Saying. I'll say it again. Uh, a buddy of mine that I play on tabletop sim. Oh, I get a uh, Lives 
uh, out in DC, and yeah, that's I a nice, see him that's like a nice once a year. Otherwise, so, <laughs> that's a nice way to do it. Um, that's my situation too. Yeah. I, I like to play, uh, and like people that do. If people don't aren't familiar with Tabletop Simulator, uh, it's a PC game that is exactly what it sounds like. It's a it's a physics simulation of a tabletop, and you can import pieces and textures and images. And there are all kinds of games on there. Some officially, including Indonesia from Splatter, uh, they have an official mod for Tabletop Sim. And there are tons of modules that people make as well, but. Uh, it's cool. It's, it's similar to like play by email or Vassal if people use that. Same sort of idea. I am ready. Let's do. Octagon, now that I've been playing the Dragon Ball Z trading card game. That's right. You're a it's Dragon like, Ball Z trading card game master at this yeah. point. Uh, exclusively online. Yeah. When are we doing a stream? Let's pick that yeah, up. Uh, next next time. Let's do it. I think that's what Scott told me. Yep. Scott is this channel is going to change to a uh, Dragon Ball Z the trading card game. Uh, Look, I know about channel. like 19 people that would love that. The EVP slash entry level employees strategy really sings with the night right, shift so managers. It's almost unfair to have each recruiter oh, yeah. hire two I, people I've a turn. It really speeds up the EVP strat, especially with the new milestones when you can Very get an EVP on turn two. That yeah, I bet that would be crazy strong. Picking up the yeah the EVP on turn two night shift manager and just have, I guess you could have twelve dudes out there just working double. That I'm would be Scott. actually kind of wild. Scott, you got first burger marketed. Uh, I did, yeah. Hang on, I'm, I'm still, I'm, cons I'm making some considerations That's here. That's fine. I'm marking off all these things we missed. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this game a little weirder, unfortunately for me, anyway. <laughs> I need to get another fucking milestone, man. Oh, so I mean friggin' milestone. Are we allowed to curse? You can curse. Are there children on this chat on this stream? Uh, so on YouTube now, you can mark if something's for kids or not. Did you I mark, I mark this as not for kids. Wow, but... you lost all the kids. For all they yeah. know, I am under sixteen. <laughs> yeah, your uh, face isn't appearing. Yeah, That's and right. You, you, and you see your, your voice is just so high pitched and crackly. Right, it sure is. Uh, all right. <laughs> so, uh, James, you're currently first. What did you, what did you play? Hey, I still have two open slots, and I suspect that I'll be first forever. Forever. For the rest of now, just time. for a little bit though. Oh, this um, back also. So, you guys are all full. Yep. No, nope. right. I have one open slot. Okay, but I have two, and I will remain first. Yep. Okay. Uh, what'd you play? I played my junior vice president, a trainer, a recruiting girl, and a pizza cook. Great. Uh, so I have one open slot, uh, which is going to put me... I'll, I'll, I'll get a choice before Mike in this case. Uh, so I'll, I'll talk next. I played basically the same thing as before. Two management trainees, a trainer, an errand boy, one kitchen trainee this time, and a pricing manager. Not that I need to necessarily lower prices now, but I want to do it before others can because I think it's a pretty good milestone. Yeah, I know you're a big fan. Uh, and so I have one open slot, so I'll be the next one to pick where I want to go in a turn. You're going second. Uh, well, I don't know yet. And uh, Mike, what did you play? Um, recruiting girl, girl and more kimchi, kitchen trainee and errand boy, and a trainer. Okay. He's keeping that kimchi train rolling. Got to keep it out there. James, where do you want to go this I'm turn? I'm going to go first. Okay, I will go second. Uh... Mike, was the last turn the first turn that you made kimchi? No. No, he's been making every, it every turn. I made it every turn since I got him. Got it. Why? I'm just kidding. I think this is the third turn. Yeah. I saw it here, and then I forgot when it got made. It is, it, it's a like, little oh, weird. you shouldn't have that. It's a little but, weird. Right. It comes out at the end of It comes of out at the end of yeah, my yeah. turn. I got it. Yeah. So I'll get him. I'll get. I'll have two, and yeah. then I'll... Yeah, yeah. I wonder I if... I was being the wonder. kimchi police. So I wonder if thematically that is, like you said, Jimmy, before... Fermentation. You have to or, ferment yeah. the kimchi so it takes time to make... Yeah, I, I do. I like it in games when you suddenly realize that a rule matches up with right. the theme. Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, we saw that recently, and we were playing Pax Transhumanity, uh, you, me, and Brett, and uh, we were talking about researching and how you have to research the cheapest thing in the row, the last card in the row, and that sort of represents like the expensive cards are expensive because they're new ideas. There's not a lot of research done. There's not a lot of people working on this. There aren't like grants and subsidies available for working on these things. But as they become more mainstream and more public, they get lower down and then you can actually research the thing, which right. is why you can do the bottom one. So like it has this thematic connection that I think helps games, uh, including this. I, th I think now I'm don't, looking at that kimchi. Don't get me started on tax cool. trans humanity theme, theme <laughs> layers. Yeah, you've had enough I years think it was. <laughs> uh, anyway. 
Yeah. Uh, so, James, it is your turn. Yeah, now Mike's too drunk. He's <laughs> rambling about Pax Transhumanity. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, that, that, that is, that's the thing you do. Cut the stream. <laughs> I'm well, going to cut hire the stream. a marketing trainee, and I will hire a management trainee. Oh, yeah, you're a recruiting girl out there. Yep. Uh, and I will train my pizza cook that's off in Pizza Land to a pizza... A darn pizza you chef. Uh-oh. Yeah, to a pizza chef. I love this guy. This is my favorite card in the game. Uh, this guy is just so jolly to be making pizza. I think it's a 30 out of 10 card. 30 out of 10 card. 30 out of 10 card. It's good. Uh, it's and good I'll card. make three pizzas. All right. Some might say that's too much pizza. I say it's this a, apartment wants a lot of pizza. Some would say it's only one too many pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> it is only well, one. Well, you got a fridge full <laughs> of pizza. Oh, okay. yes, my okay. my fridge, fridge is half full, full of pizza. Of pizza. All right. Yeah. Someone wants to uh, have a reiteration of what milestones you guys are using. It's the uh, it's original, the original milestones. milestones. I think someone came in late. We just wanted to know. Yep, we are, we are using the, uh, if you look if you have the rule book handy or you look online, we are using the Korean city scenario, which is strictly new districts and kimchi. No new milestones, no hard choices. Uh, okay, so uh, that's your turn. Fantastic. Let's hire for me a tough choices. Let's do an errand boy. <laughs> Thank you, claw machine. Yeah, Mike. that was very, very <laughs> uh, good. Here. I'm gonna produce a pair of beers, and I'm gonna produce <laughs> a pair of beers. No, no. Uh, and I'm gonna get a kitchen trainee. Uh, I am the first to lower prices, so if people want to cross first to lower prices off. Did it already. Uh, I was never going to lower prices you anyway. did, Well, you did not, Mike. I can see you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate the enthusiasm. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to train up my JVP, which I actually I forgot to pay for last turn, uh, to a VP. If you want to put that back, Mike, into the, the JVP slot. And uh, no, one over. No, other way. No, close. <laughs> Further. There we go. Yeah. And you give me a VP. Look how happy that boy yeah, is. Yeah, that's my least favorite guy. I mean, that uh, guy is, cool. It's, fucking, it's Robin Thicke. Is that, is, that, <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. is, that is uh, my turn? Like, that guy is very insincere about his decisions. Like, just compare the, compare pizza, the chef. pizza chef. He loves he that loves, he he's talking about Robin Thicke is super happy. The, the vice president is really coked up and is... <laughs> Like, this guy's going to shout buzzwords at you and then scream abuse at you once he yeah, starts coming I down. I have no idea if that's plain or not. Right. But. The pizza chef is sincere about making pizza. I know. Okay. He's All a little right. plump from It is dinner time. I know. It's my turn. It's you need to post a, like, love letter to the pizza chef. Yeah. That's our next stream. It's just me waxing poet. On the pizza show. <laughs> on the pizza yeah, show. it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Recruiting girl is going to... Wait, wait, no. First trainer is going to train my VP... No, that is a huge Up player. to a senior VP. Yes, sir. Now, what do you think of this guy? <laughs> the senior uh, vice president. He's, he's got fine. a little thumbs up yeah. there. Thumbs up. He's like, hey, he's come back into the... <laughs> The hooker room. <laughs> yeah, his dad runs uh, the company. Mike, He's been they the call them sex workers. Yeah, that's <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. And that's a legitimate yeah. career. Um, now I'm going to hire. To I like the JVP too. This is not yeah. the VP. This guy. <laughs> point in his so hire a waitress. Very dynamic. <laughs> and it's a tr dynamo of business, a captain of industry. I'm a uh, rewatching Mad Men for the and a kitchen trainee. Maybe ninth time, and uh, okay, yeah, this is a very uh, Mad Men esque figure. All right, time to to sell some food. Okay. Starting at oh, nine and, make, and three quarters. Sorry, I'm making a beer and a oh, yeah. and a burger. Cool. Okay, beer and a burger. I'm selling two pizzas for thirty dollars. You're getting a little bit of a runaway train here, and I'm not happy about it. Yeah, we got to move in on there. Don't worry. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying for the yeah, next I'm, turn. I'm working as well. I'm on something here. I'm working on it. I mean, you're making burgers over there. You should be making pizza, but I can't make two pizza. You have to make two to take it. Yeah. I was gonna do pizza, yeah. but I have to make two. Now I'm gonna try to steal your burger and I, you're, beer. and you're gonna. That's my plan. All right. Uh, great. Next is number sixteen. It's a burger and a beer. That's gonna go to our kimchi boy, Michael Fernandez. Yep. Thirty bucks. He's gonna get Thirty dollars. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, 
bank will break this turn. Yeah, the bank is currently at zero dollars, but exactly zero. So not it didn't negative. actually break. So it. you're going to sell a thing. And yes, I am going to sell a beer for fifteen, which is going to break the bank. Uh, sell that beer at twenty-one and go ahead and collect money. So before I am owed fifteen dollars, James, how much is being added? Uh, Five hundred dollars. Two, three, and four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. <laughs> four hundred dollars, <laughs> and that is two one hundreds. That is a very and a two hundred. This is a baby size. That is a very bank. petite bank. This is a baby sized bank here. Almost the biggest bank. This is. Uh, I'm the one who one put in the two hundred and. Uh, I, I, was, I don't like this doxing who we put in. Well, I don't like it. You at guys all. both put in 100, and I was very close to putting in 100 as well, which would have been kind of hilarious because it'll one have like two more turns. Yeah, two. Uh, four. Five. Three and four. Look at that! Look how quickly that bank came together. Yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah. Ben, thank you for setting up that uh, that quick bank expansion for us earlier before the stream. Set up a stack of nine $100 sets of chips. Always and, make sure uh, to have an intern handy when you're playing <laughs> these games. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we have $900. I'm owed 15 out of that, which is a very pithy amount considering how much you guys are making right now. Or, mm. I guess mostly Jimmy, but Mike, you've got a few bucks. Do you have a hundred dollars yet? No, not yet. Unfortunately, I have ninety. Ooh, pay salaries. I owe five. I'm still good. Ten. All right, and my marketing trainee comes on home. Let's market. Let's. That's good. All right. Let's see, what's going on here? Wait, wait, it's time to build our structures up. So I'm kind of hoping right now for a late game surge for myself. Uh, do you have any in the fridge? Uh, unfortunately <laughs> not. They're, they're hard to, you can't find them all over. Uh, I do like surge, so that's a little joke Ben is making over there in the booth. Yeah, it's a little, little joke I'm making a little over here. Joke. In the that's a little soda joke. Uh, surge soda, a competitor to Mountain Dew from Coca-Cola. <laughs> You can get it at Burger King now. You, you have been able to for about a year. For real? Yeah, 100%. Yep. Am, actually, uh, Amazon brought it back in 2014. And uh, you could buy six packs from Amazon. And that's why Amazon's doing so well now? And that's what really set up their, their current market domination. <laughs> yeah. uh, that Bezos, Bezos really is, knew. Tap that surge yeah. market again. Jeff Bezos has a lucrative life from surge... <laughs> Not cola, I guess. No. Surge beverage. No, please call surge it surge soda. cola. Surge what you, what cola. You, what do you live in, like, Louisiana? Yeah. Calling everything a, cola, a yeah. Coke? Dear, would you hand me one of those surge colas, please? <laughs> Thank surge <you>. yeah. cola. <laughs> it wasn't funny until that. <laughs> until he said it that way. <laughs> uh, the guy's into the, into the soda community enough that he bought Surge. But he still calls it a surge cult. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be like somebody, it'd be like somebody playing like some obscure video game and calling it a Nintendo. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like some indie video, right. like Stardew Valley. Like I'm playing this Nintendo Stardew yes. Valley game. Yes. If uh, <laughs> if I set my mother up with Stardew Valley, she would say, <laughs> the Nintendo. Yeah, she would Nintendo. say, oh yeah, is this a new Sega game? And I would say, <laughs> yes. Right. They finally decided to start making second <laughs> Genesis games yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, the peak of video gaming technology for her was the Sega Genesis. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It uh, requires more than three buttons. Uh, she's not going to play. Yeah, that blast processing. Yeah. Graphics never got better <laughs> or faster. I think blast processing is supposed go fast. to be fast. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now Sonic's got a movie. Yeah. So. Uh, I saw that movie. Yeah. It was bad. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> it's don't got like really. Don't tell ben Schwartz that. It's got like really high Rotten Tomatoes scores. Uh, if I had a child, I could see uh, going to see it and saying, "Oh, this is like my kid likes this." Kid likes Sonic. But I don't have a kid, and there were a lot of kids in the theater, so I felt like a weirdo. Yep. Yep. Uh, but you know, that's the movies. Well, let's see how much of a weirdo you feel like in this next round <laughs> of Food Chain Magnate. Oh, not that much of a weirdo. 
Because I've got my Scott is, getting, Scott is getting better. Yeah, at he is getting Marvel better at the non. Uh, they're less of a stretch these days. Yeah, they're, these days. right. They're not. They're not non sequiturs. Yeah, you yeah, give right. it enough time. I'll you know you, you workshop some stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, James, you're. Uh, got two open spaces. You have two open spaces. I have none. Zero. Okay, so okay. James, you're going to be first. I'm going to go first. What, uh, what do you have? Go. What do you have? Uh, I've got my pizza chef, my jolly man, uh, my JVP, a marketing trainee, a management trainee, a trainer, and a recruiting girl. Okay, so I'm going to be marketing yeah. something and selling uh, a bunch of pizza. I'm not playing my only other card, which is my pizza cook, because that's just too don't, much pizza. Don't need more pizza. 11 right. pizza? I Wild. will stay second. And so I've got a pair of management trainees and a kitchen trainee, two marketing trainees, another kitchen trainee, and a trainer. Marketing stuff and making pizzas. Two Mike. kitchen trainees, kimchi master, recruiting girl, trainer, and a pair of management trainees and leading the pair of management trainees leading this crew of uh, misfits, ragtag <laughs> misfits who are going to take over the world with kimchi and freckled faced pizza boys. <laughs> All right, uh, James, start us off. Cool. I'm going to uh, make eight pizzas. And well, uh, first hiring two. Yeah, first, I'm going to hire two. I'm going to hire a management trainee and. Um, an errand boy. Actually, I need to correct something here. I shouldn't have made 15 last turn. I should have made 14. Uh, 13. 13. So I, had, I, had, I had my discount played. Um, Still broke the bank, but... You're right. The way to be honest. We need yeah. more honest I need a, I, I don't. Days. I don't want to look back later and have someone say, like, so hey, you should have made 13 instead training. of 15. I'm going to hire a kitchen trainee and then train it into a burger cook. Okay, great. Uh, is that your turn? No, you're marketing. Uh, and I'm going to make eight pizzas, um, and I will be marketing pizza. Um, Where's it going? Can you give me the 12 billboard? Yes, sir. Ooh, right up there by number two and then number pi, the apartment building pi. Infinite pi marketing. That's Why is it infinite pizzas. again? Because uh, he because was the first, the first to place a building. So everyone's infinite? All of his are. All oh. of mine are. Oh. And I, I never pay salaries. Every marketing he places is infinite. I'm into that, baby. Um, someone just said, did, did you guys remember to have one less slot since 100 was the dominant oh, reserve? You're right, you are correct. You are, we, all, we all did forget okay. that. I think uh, one of the first times we've actually had that switch to two. Yeah. Usually it goes three or four. So what do we do? Uh, I still have an open slot. But... Um, let's play this round as is, and then next round sure. going forward. Or or just pop one guy off if you want. Um, but I, I, I'm... Jimmy's following the rules still. Mike and I are the ones that are not. So Jimmy, why don't you say what yeah, you Yeah, you decide like what, what you think is fair. Thank you for that point. Thank you for that point. That's. I feel like historically that is the rule we. But then also he doesn't get to go first because then he doesn't have an open slot. I actually still do have an open slot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what do you want I would to do? Say Take it, one out or play yeah, the turn. I would say if you can pop off a top level guy without it ruining. I can't your do. Thing. I can't do that. Well, I can, but I'd rather. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, pop off the recruit. If I was doing it, if I was doing this like this, I would not do the recruiting girl. All right, take your recruiting girl away, and you ditch whatever was. Oh, I'm gonna go. If, if Jimmy's, if you're allowing oh, him, yeah, to pop sure. Off just a just remove guy. a person. Okay. Yeah. Make, like, <laughs> he make said your, top level. Yeah, yeah. Like he said top level. Yeah. Make like then, you knew. then he was upset about it. So. <laughs> his mic was certainly. Yeah. Thanks. His, like, his so birthday's coming. Just sad. Oh, when, when, when is your birthday? March 1st. March 1st. You know that we're, that that we're celebrating on, on Sunday. Yeah, but I didn't know when it was exactly. Yeah. I knew it was soon. But Everyone's invited. To yeah. birthday Come to karaoke. Saturday. Karaoke <laughs> yeah. on yeah. Saturday. Right. All right. Um, if you're in Chicago. So we're ready to go. Uh, speaking of Korean cities, yeah, it's a Korean karaoke. With it is. Look at that. Look at that. All right, stop. They're going to have people showing up. Yeah. <laughs> The only karaoke Korean place in the city. They're going <laughs> to go. I think it is. Uh, it's right. certainly not. <laughs> really? No, okay. not at all. Okay. Uh, continuing now. Thank, thank right. you. Thank you for noting that we should have dropped down to, right. to two slots. Uh, I do appreciate that. Like I said, it is it, switching slots is one of the things we forget most frequently because I think, we don't historically, do it. Because we, it, don't we do so it. often end up at only having three slots. We usually put two hundreds in. Uh, all right. So you're finishing your turn, James. Yep, I'm all done. You've marketed pizza, uh, yeah, Mike. Yeah, then we'll go there a little later. Uh, so I'm going to uh, hire uh, uh, something. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn. I'm second. Oh. So you you uh, you're clearly still thinking. So continue thinking. Uh, I am yeah, going I to make now, huh? a pair of pizzas after I hire a. Uh, a waitress sounds actually okay. 
Let's go for a let's go for a management trainee, actually. If you can hand me one of those. Because I'm about to train my VP into are you not at an executive VP yet? Uh, about to be. Okay. Uh, give me a nope. Give me a regional manager. Did you guys know that? So someone just said the rules as written in this situation is to remove all employees and only yes. have the CEO work that round. Yep. This person does also express that that would be way too brutal for a yeah. friendly stream. Yep. Yeah, we, we, we talked we, about that yeah. earlier. We mentioned it earlier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Next time, though. We tend to play it a little friendly, uh, where if you screw up, if it's not hard to quickly correct it, you can go ahead and do that. Because, yeah, if you if you miss a full turn... Right. As much as, as, well well love, the game as, much as I would love for you guys to not be able... Both of you to not be able to do well, anything this turn. We should just quit the game. Right. It's just right. like, yeah, yeah at that point... Then you give up. Yeah. Like, but yes, yes. Like we, we, we brought it up James earlier. Um, right. But, yeah, we, we, play it, we play it a little friendlier than that. Just that one aspect. Oh, yeah. But we're going to have an asterisk anyway, right? This is an asterisk. That's what I want. Yeah, right. That's what I want. That's what I, so I, what I want until you guys trained. have a separate game night that right. I'm not around for. Right. We've we've removed Jimmy from <laughs> game like, night. What's wrong he, with this guy? Because <laughs> he keeps forcing us to quit. Let's go. So you're still you're buying that up. We're gonna go here with this. One zero. Yep. And we're gonna market beer over here. Beer over here. For two rounds. Wait, why are you putting that there? Oh, yeah, I should go with my guy. Of course. Uh, all right, and that is my turn. Okay. Mike, uh, Ben, if you could turn me down. Oh, yep. Um, so I'm going to... I did it right that time. I talked over it. I'm going to... Thank you, Mike. Um, hire a... <sighs> what am I going to hire? Hold on, I have to look at my menu. I have to look at my Man. menu. Nothing looks good. Doesn't want. I don't want what I want. <laughs> Who do I want? Um, James, just order for him. Yeah, <laughs> I think you want this uh, marketing training. Yeah, no, I'm. I've actually given up on marketing in this game. I'm gonna take a. Uh, well, Scott's doing a lot of it for me, which is nice. I'm just gonna take a waitress, and then I'm going to train my senior vp up to executive vp very nice look at this guy's structure he doesn't give a shit about any of these people yeah <laughs> he got his 10 people under him he does not care so they're gonna all be waitresses next so time. It's, it's, the same person has it has knows this rule and doesn't often play with it because he introduces the game to a lot of new people yeah. should it just yeah. not be a rule uh, or this something? game yeah. this game is tough to introduce new people to because every the moment you introduce right. this game to a new person they are going to lose i know a couple Absolutely. people who have expressed an interest in playing you know they say hey you guys play a lot i would like to play and the warning i always give people is your first time playing uh, if you're playing against experienced players, you will lose. You're gonna lose well, the game. A hundred percent, like one hundred percent of the time. It's actually a real bummer for the, a bummer part of this game. Right. Is like you just can't get new people. And to, the game to can play. take a while, so it's it's hard to commit to like. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, spend that's two true. to three hours for to something. Lose. I'm certainly yeah, that I'm definitely going to lose. gonna lose. Are you making anything with yeah, yeah? So I'm making. Well, someone also expressed that the uh, the rule exists to uh, cull rampant cheating. Is there like is cheating easy in this game? I don't know. I don't think so. But, I, but why would you put any rule that the point is to call cheating? Because how often is who that are you playing with that's cheating all the time? Right. Like if you're playing um, with people that you like playing with, they shouldn't be cheating. I don't know. That's just me. Yeah. Um, I guess if you're playing with people you don't know, it just lot. seems like a really harsh rule. Are you finished with your turn? Um, I trained. Yeah, I'm good. I'm Great. All right, I'm, yeah. I'm hot again, Ben. We have cool dinner time. Dinner time. All right. So we're going to start again. Nine and three quarters is pretty straightforward, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. I get it. Uh, yes, he does. He has the kimchi. Pretty That's true. Kimchi goes to Mike, takes sales away from James. $20, $30. Uh, yes, because you did three pieces. Uh, great. And then we go down to number 16. I sell my burger. You don't have a burger. You don't have kimchi anyway anymore. So I sell my burger. I am the first burger marketed, so I'll get a 15 minus two, or minus one for that, so I'll get $14. Ten. <laughs> you did make it worse for yourself. Four. Someone gave a nice little tip. Uh, if, it ma if it really matters, shuffle up your cards and lose one at random. 
Well, that's another good idea. Yeah, yeah that is a good idea. idea that's not bad. Yeah. That, that could be now. That could be super devastating <laughs> right. if you lose a management right. guy because then, then suddenly like, then you kill your entire branch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's well, a, you would that's just do. I think you would just do non-management. Yeah. Like whatever couldn't fit. You know. Sure. But okay. That's everything sold. Okay. This gonna, pizza market's here. I get a kimchi. A beer market's here. Oh and God, a pizza some, goes there. Oh imagine so if you lost a CEO so much or pizza. a manager yeah. at random. And who has the pizza? Who? <laughs> you have so much pizza in your yeah. freezer right who now. Who has the pizza? And and I can make 11 more if I needed to. Yeah, well. Uh, all right. You're about to you're about to deal with a horde of waitresses that you've yeah. never dealt with before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's lay them out. Next round. Uh, for people that are watching live, what, uh, where would you rank Food Chain Magnate amongst your favorite splatter games? If you've played more than one, if, if you've done, you know, their big games or maybe their little games too. I know Bust just came out uh, in, in a reprint recently from Capstone that people have been super into. <laughs> oh, this person would exclude managers from that shuffle card. Sure. Kind of thing. Oh, that's good. It, it makes sense. Unless the that's issue five. is you have too many managers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. If you have three managers up top. So I have to pay a salary. So I'm doing that. Yeah, how many salaries are you at right now? Just the one. Oh, I, have, I have two to pay. Then uh, you were first to train, though. Sorry. I, yeah, I have four. Okay. I see. That's ten, right? Yep. I have to look at my menu. Let's see. Or can I fire? Can I only fire if I have to pay a salary and I can't do no, it? No, you can fire any time you want. I'm going to fire this pizza cook and take my $5 back. Okay. Harsh. <laughs> if someone's played Indonesia, Indonesia is greater than TGZ, which is greater than FCM. And that is... Oh, I don't... Gosh. They wrote, they wrote with mathematical... Symbols and my math ain't great. Uh, it's the two <laughs> equal signs sequentially. It bus, which is greater than antiquity. Okay, so Indonesia is better than the Great Zimbabwe, which is okay. better than Food Chain Magnate, which is as good as bus, which is better than what was the last one? Antiquity. Antiquity. Uh, and then someone else has played bus, TGZ, FCM. Man, you guys all know the abreves uh, for this stuff. Yes. Uh, someone hasn't played Indonesia. None of them or have like yet. particularly crazy long names either. Yeah, but yeah. TGZ is tricky. Okay. The Great Zimbabwe. Got it. My Ready least favorite splat. I know you're not a fan of it. I'll still play it. Apparently, this was a good question because now people are just like, they have opinions on this. Oh yeah, <laughs> people do. They, you know, and you know what? Honestly, that is one of the great things about Splatter is. You won't find too many people that'll agree, like a group of Splatter fans will not agree which one is the best. Right. There will be someone that says Food Chain's the best, some say Indonesia, plenty say uh, The Great Zimbabwe. Jimmy, you love yeah. Antiquity. Antiquity is one of my favorites, not a lot of people agree with me. Um, whereas a lot of people, I talk to people all the time who love The Great Zimbabwe and yeah. who have, you know... Um, I want to say Brett was playing. Like, He's played it like forty times yeah, last year, right? Like, and he was uh, in some sort of competitive scene for it, which yeah. I didn't even know existed. Yep. Um, All right, Mister. I will say based on Dragon the chat here, card game. Yeah. there is no consensus. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, uh, which is what makes them such a good company. They've right. made a many, uh, ma many great games. Uh, all right, are we all? I am ready. I am ready. I think I've got. You get you getting that uh, you getting that important text, Mike? Yes. No problem. I'm glad. I'm glad you're getting the communication. All Thanks. right. So uh, first, uh, who has open, uh, open slots? I have none. I zero. have none. I remember we're at Actually. two slots for the CEO. Great. Right. Zero open slots. Also I'm, zero. I'm, I'm full up. Great, James. You get first pick then. And All what right. do you have in uh, your? Uh... I've got a JVP management trainee, pizza chef, recruiting girl, trainer, errand boy, and burger cook. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And you're going to stay first. I will stay first. Great. I'm second. I've got my management trainees up top as usual. Somehow they've not graduated. They're yeah. still trainees. Mm. Uh, and then I've got my boy, my regional manager, a pair of kitchen trainees, and a trainer in play. I've got uh, six waitresses. <laughs> Money. I've That's got thirty dollars. Thirty. I've got two kitchen trainees and a kimchi master. I've got an errand boy and I've got a recruiting girl and a uh, trainer and with my exec. executive VP plus a management trainee. Executive vice president. That'll do it. Running that shop. All right, uh, James, you start us off. What are you hiring? Okay, I will be hiring a management trainee. 
um, and a marketing trainee. I will be training the management trainee to a luxuries manager. Okay. Uh, and then I'll be making eight pizzas, three burgers, and a beer. Okay. It does seem Indonesia is pretty popular. Indonesia is certainly popular. It is a great game. Uh, all right. I am going to hire a... Let's get a trainer going. No, take, I don't even want to touch that. <laughs> Give me a management training instead. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> all right. I saw him in a disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just his face. Ugh, I couldn't take it. <laughs> uh, all right. And then I'm going to train up my management trainee to... Let me think here for one sec. So if I go there with that, that's pretty good. Hook me up with my boy the junior vice president. All right, and I'm gonna produce, let's do, where are the pizzas? Oh, you have the whole thing. Uh, let's do. But, uh, I can also switch to the big the pizzas. Giant pizzas, maybe not a bad idea. But uh, as of right now, I love putting eight <laughs> pizzas, pizzas on my yeah. pizza chef. All right, yeah, I'm gonna do these, this pair of pizzas here. This should also be down, minus one. Uh, and then my regional manager is going to open a new business. And I'm going to open it. Let's see. I'm already there. That's a good spot. I'm going to go here. So I placed a new business. A new fried geese and donkey, or fried welcome and donkey, I guess as it reads, uh, hmm. is going right here next to that apartment building pie. And I trained up already. Uh, my drive-in is available. So I have entrances on every side of my restaurant. Uh, someone someone made a good, uh, kind of a, a good, I guess, well, I don't know. That, you know, never mind. I, I'm not going to talk about that right now. It's kind of, it, it, was, it, was a <laughs> weird, right. it was a weird thing about the drive-in, but um, we'll talk about that maybe another time. All right. Uh, Mike, it is your turn. Okay, so I am going to um, recruit... Are you at hundred dollars yet? No, I didn't make any money last turn. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to recruit two things, and that is a waitress. If I make any money this turn, I'll get that milestone. And CFO. Hmm. Not sure if you're going to make money this turn. To be honest. No. Waitress and what do I want? Marketing trainee. Oh, whoops, that goes here. There you go. And then I'm going to train. We're saying they count as three. Six. I'm going to train my management trainee up to a luxuries manager. Luxuries manager? I guess, I guess luxuries and kimchi is a pretty good combo. Yeah. And then I'm going to make... Let's see. So the order of dinner here is number two is first. Yep. Then pie. No, then and pie, right? Yes, then pie. Two, pie, nine, nine and three quarters, and 25. 25. So I am going to make, hmm, so I'm going to take two. That's not good. Yeah, I'll make two pizzas, I guess. I mean, I don't know if I have a better option. And a uh, drink. All right, I'm done. Marketing that too is, that was, that's tricky. tricky yeah, little, yeah tricky that, little that's thing. a tricky way to, to, to nerf kimchi. my uh, kimchi a little bit. Uh, okay, so now it's dinner time. We're starting with number two. That's a pizza. That's going to go to uh, Michael Fernandez, I yes. believe. So one I pizza, one kimchi. Sell a pizza and a kimchi, tw uh, 20 bucks. Then we go to pie, which are two pizzas. I am one away from it. Mike, you're also one away. You don't have two pizzas, though. 
I have one pizza. So I, I have pizzas, it. so I'm going to sell those. Mm -hmm. And I for that, we'll get $18. Take 20 and I'll put back two. Um, and then we have nine and three quarters, which I am equidistant from you. Right, I'm at a, minus, at a one, minus one, so I will sell these two pizzas for another eighteen dollars. And then we have number twenty-five beer, uh, which I am zero away from and mm -hmm. selling at nine, mm -hmm. uh, which is closer than anyone else. You're right. One away. Uh, you are one away, but not selling, close enough. So it not nine. Yep. So I will sell my beer for nine plus five is a cool fourteen. An unforeseen thing about kimchi, you forget Ten. that you have one. Yeah. So you're taking Four. one thing then. Right. So this is actually a pretty brutal thing to get then pizza. Then number two, yeah. Exactly. That's a, that snakes that... Uh, and I actually had a pretty good windfall that turn. Great, that pizza. Thanks me. to my discount and my regional manager. All right, so we throw right. this shit away. Yep. In the trash. I get a kimchi. I get... I market my last beer. I get 30 bucks. Thirty dollars for me, if you don't mind. Oh, actually, make it uh, twenty dollars because I have to pay myself. Okay, there you go. Thank you. And we are done. With and then I pay my salaries, which I have two now, so it's ten bucks. Fifty. Done with that round. Make some change for myself over here. Just because I like seeing big chips. Oh, I'll take those two, actually. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next round. <laughs> so having moved down now to two, uh, two mm. slots for our CEO actually makes the executive VP even stronger. Yeah, absolutely. Salary. Paying a fiver. Like now we're getting to the time in the game where you get a little quiet because you got to consider mm -hmm. what you're doing a little harder. I could sing. Please. Uh, if you've got a song you could sing, Ben, that would be lovely. Uh, what was I singing about Fig Newtons earlier? <laughs> okay, I was thinking a real song, but I guess. What do you mean it's a real song? Like some Barry Manilow, I don't know. Sinatra? Um, Some city pop? Come on, man. Um, um, oh, what's good? I hate every ape I see. <laughs> From chimpanzee to chimpanzee. <laughs> no, you'll never make a monkey out of me. Oh my gosh, I was wrong. It was Earth all <laughs> along. So you finally made a monkey. Yes, we finally made a monkey. So you finally made a monkey out of me. That was very good. Was I very love good. you, Dr. Zayas. <laughs> uh, I actually think it was probably well-timed because I have all my cards now. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> I'm ready, too. Nailed it. I'm still... Okay, well, that's oh, close. Mike, that you ruined still, it. Next I'm time. still up and around. Wait, that's does that mean we need time. another song? Oh, boy. If you got a short, uh, if you got a short yeah, one. Yeah, if it's another Troy if McClure song. Oh, I could just do Dr. Zayas. Oh, yeah. Ooh, help me, Dr. Sayers. Ba -bum -bum -bum. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum. Dr. Sayers, Dr. Sayers. <laughs> I was just watching that episode the other day. It's that a is good one. one of my favorites. You, you, man, you almost kept it together for that one. <laughs> you were close. Would you like to star in uh, All right, I'm ready. Planet of the right. Apes, the uh, movie, or the planet? <laughs> I'm ready. All right, let's reveal what we've got going on. Uh, and if you guys are enjoying Ben's singing, <laughs> consider a donation to Phasing Player. Go to phasingplayer.com slash donate. If we get enough money, maybe we'll, uh, we'll put on a video of Ben singing something fun and uh, make a fun video around yeah, it. We could probably oh, yeah, make we an do. album. We could probably make an album. Forget video. It'll be music. Yeah. It'll be music only. And uh, yeah, Ben will be the star. He'll be the, the, the yeah, artist. Right. He'll be the writer. But we'll pocket all the money. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, all right. So I can put this on ben, taxes. Ben is very gullible, and will agree to. Uh, I have contract. I have uh, no open slots. I have no open slots. Mike, what are you looking at over there? You got anything? No open slots. All right, uh, James, what do you have? Stay first. Uh, I've got a JVP, pizza chef, burger cook, errand boy, marketing trainee, and a luxuries manager. Big money coming your way, huh? You uh, trying to pick up the scraps? That's the dream. Pick up the scraps. Okay, I will stay second. 
And I've got the basically the same thing as before. I've got a JVP in play now who is working with some kitchen trainees and a marketing trainee. And the management trainee is uh, somehow managing a regional manager. I'm not yeah. sure exactly how that works, but he is. And there's it's a, a trainer. mentorship. It's a mentor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The regional manager is like giving feedback. But I see. Yeah. Okay. And Mike, what do you have going on? Six waitresses. I was going to do seven, but I got limited by space. So back to six still. Trainer, kimchi master, kitchen trainee, luxury manager, recruiting girl, recruiting girl. All right. EVP management trainee taking up the lead. All right. That, that's the set. The uh, father and his son. Mm -hmm. Father and his son he obviously doesn't trust because he made him a trainee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's he's got to learn, right? He's got yeah. to learn. It's, it's, he's, still, it's, he's getting a big allowance. It's Don, right. he's, he's it's just, Don Jr. Yeah. It's Donald Trump and Don <laughs> Jr. <laughs> he's just managing the recruiting girls who are like already know what they're doing. Yeah, they're like, we don't need a manager. Right. And he's like, just let him pretend like All he's right. managing you. All right. Uh, James. All right, I will be hiring one marketing trainee. I will be making. Wait, a, we have both. I just realized we have both both luxury managers in play. Yeah, uh, that's right. Baby. On this turn, um, I will be making eight pizzas, three burgers, one you're beer. What's, you're what's wrong with the world? With all this <laughs> wasted food. I'll be. I, the, my fridge is full. That's what I'm saying. You're Although I did, I did throw away <laughs> quite a bit last turn. Uh, and I will be marketing some more pizza if you give me the 11 billboard. The, the Where do you want it? The I pizza it. dystopia we live in. Right here. You're just taking all the billboards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a nightmare. It's amazing. It's a pizza dystopia. It's like I'm playing with the other milestones. <laughs> I agree. It is like that. Uh, is that your turn? That's my turn. All right. I'm going to hire, geez, Luis, I don't know. How about a trainer this time? I know I shunned him last time, but I will take him this time. Are you sure? Yes. He's mine. I will also train oh, sorry. my... I hit the mic. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah. That was a horrible, horrible I, 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 I looked at my fun. shirt and went, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what the All right, fuck? I'm gonna have to train up my management trainee. No, this is tough. The slower you talk, the more decisive you become. It's, yeah, that's how, how it works sometimes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna train my marketing trainee to a campaign manager. Mm. We'll reach across the table for that one. Get an Indiana Jones looking guy here. Mm -hmm. Uh, that gives me three. Retired things. Indiana Jones just delivers newsletters. Delivers letters. newsletters, yeah. Delivers mail. He's the guy that rubber bands mm -hmm. stuff to your doorknob. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all I've right. Seen that guy it looks like Indiana. Jones. I'm gonna get a couple of pizzas here because I suppose I need to. Pizza. I'm in. I'm in a tough spot right now where there's a ton of pizza on the board, but without a pizza cook, I can't produce too much. So. But you just trained up to a. You could have trained up to a pizza cook. Uh, I didn't have a kitchen trainee. I didn't want to hire one because I need another trainer. I have, I have, I have an idea. I have, I have something in mind right now, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. And then I'm going to mark it with my marketing trainee. It's 13 billboard before it gets taken away from me. And I'm going to put it in here. What are you going to mark it? Uh, I'm going to mark it. Pizza. You have a beer, but I'll, I'll sell to that before you. I'm going to zero away. Uh, I'll do, I'll do beer. Someone's asking about uh, they want they really want John Company. Does that make? It does make sense. John Company. It's a different game. It's oh, a different game. Yeah. Oh, please. Uh, okay. Yeah. I was like, I don't know how this relates to this game. Yeah, <laughs> Ben. Ben, I I do very much. By the way, uh, Ben, you're very kind to come and run these streams for us. <laughs> uh, not really being into board games at all. Well, I am. I do appreciate. Well, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry. Not 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 into the kind of games that uh, we've been playing lately. Yes, these are uh, these well, are relatively new. We should add him into the game. We should yeah. add, but then, then we yeah. won't have anybody to run the stream. Then we'll have to get someone else. I mean, it's, it's a cycle. I play right? I play D and D. Sounds like, like a most complex I'm getting right now is like Legacy Betrayal right now sure that I, sounds fun are you though. enjoying it i do want to play oh it. yeah it's a ton of fun it's yeah fun. mike's mike's been pitching that for a while i do want to play it we're having a lot of fun i'm gonna drop this new restaurant of mine but no economics and military and all these kinds of uh, diplomacy-esque games not my bread and butter at this point but i am learning I'm glad. Wait, so if someone wants John Company, whatever the hell that is. It's a good game. It's a it's a negotiation <laughs> game that it will be coming to the channel. I'm hoping to bring I'm hoping to bring um, John Company second edition to the channel too in the coming months. Uh, 
We'll 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 see where that ends up. I'm sure the chat will appreciate. Placing it. a third restaurant, huh? Third restaurant, and I'm considering where I want it right Just now. Just like a true magnate. Mm -hmm. Just right there. <laughs> that is the best spot for it. It might. I don't know. Actually, it might, might be an okay spot. Or over here would be ideal. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go here with it yeah we'll, we'll we'll do that for now i think i'll end up moving it later that's right you can move restaurants i can move restaurants feel like I can rarely place happens with the regional but well I, if i'm gonna keep playing it because right. i want my drive through i'll probably end up moving I, I have a couple ideas for moving things uh and i trained already and uh, yeah i've done everything i've done it all great i've seen the world uh let's go on to michael fernandez's turn ding all right I'm going to get, let's see, two recruiting girls. I'm going to get one, two, three waitresses. How many are left? Only two. Two. All right. Um, I'm going to train my marketing <laughs> trainee up to a campaign manager. All right. Oh, someone's wondering if you have a, if, if Scott, you have a hookup for uh, an early copy of John Company 2E. Uh, I wouldn't say I have an early hookup, but I have been talking with Whirly Gig a little bit. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, I'll, I'll be able to pizza. bring some stuff to the channel, but nothing I can, uh, nothing to talk about right now. And that's my turn. Wow. Uh, great. Cool. I and am yeah, feeling you, good about that. Your eternal kimchi just kind of hanging out there. Uh, all right, let's move on to dinner time. Starting with number two. That's a pizza. That's going to Mike. Going Santa to Maria the... Pizza sells a pizza. Plus and... ten for luxuries manager. So for you each. get for each. So ten dollars. Plus ten dollars, plus ten dollars <laughs> for the kimchi, plus ten dollars for the luxury kimchi, is a cool forty. Four bucks. That's a luxurious. Kimchi. Are you at a hundred? You look like you should be. 30, 40, 50, 60, you sure are. Nine, yeah, definitely. Let's see if anyone else makes it to a hundred this turn, uh, and who else gets that CFO? I'm gonna sell a thing this turn. I am nearly positive. All right, so, so now we move on to pie three dot one four. I have two pizzas. I am one away, Great. selling at a nine. I'm gonna sell these pizzas for eighteen dollars. It's twenty. Take put two back. Those pizzas are gone. Now we move on to nine and three quarters. That's two pizzas, and I don't have any pizza left. I've got pizza. I shout from my <laughs> Asian restaurant across the street. So it's like, good enough. Uh, so I will sell them for $50 total. Oof, because you're your luxuries manager. Luxuries 15 manager. each is 30 and then you an extra 10 on top mm -hmm. of both of them. Uh, that's $40, $50. This bank is getting slim. Yeah. We see like large stacks, but these are ones and fives. Right. The tens and twenties are almost gone. Uh, all right. And then we've got a beer, which will go to me being zero away at a price of nine. Uh, I'm going to sell that then for $14. Five. I'll take that. I'll take fives. Five, ten, thirteen, and fourteen. Great. So that's everything sold. And my marketing trainee that I just placed will market that right back there. It's one turn off of him. Uh, James, you market these there. You market these here. And you market uh, and here, yeah, and there, there, and there. And there. Pizza, pizza everywhere. Pizza, pizza. everywhere, not, not a drop, a drop to drink. drink. All right, uh, let's go bucks. ahead and pay salaries. Thirty bucks for me, please. Actually, fifteen no, uh, salaries. Fifteen dollars for me because I have to pay three salaries. Okay, fifteen. Uh, 15. Yep. Great, uh, James. You paid your salaries? Uh, no, not yet. However, just uh, paying one salary, huh? Yep, just the one. Um, I am. First, you have hundred dollars. Mike, you also oh, have a hundred bucks, right? First, have hundred dollars. So we'll have to set aside our money that we <laughs> earn. I uh, including this turn. It should have been this turn included. This turn included, huh? Yeah. Okay. Including waitresses. Yeah, all money you make. So okay. Then, so I need so, an extra twenty-five dollars. Right, because you made fifty, so you make fifty percent of that for twenty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. Five, ten, fifteen, 70. twenty, twenty-five. Mike, you made seventy, so you 70. get another thirty-five. Nice. Twenty, thirty-five. This bank is uh, this is meager, probably the last turn. <laughs> meager right now. Uh, all right, Bob this could well be the last Bob turn. Meager, right? <laughs> I guess. Did you say Bob Meager. <laughs> I said Bob Meager. And the silver bullet bank. <laughs> yeah, and the silver 
Wait, it'd be like the bronze bowl. I'm not yeah. sure that I'm getting this reference. The, <laughs> this know. is lost on me. Yeah, yeah, the, bron- the bronze bowl. Don't worry about it. it. This you is know. the last turn, huh? Uh, yeah, very possibly. I, I'm not going to uh, say entirely, but... Yeah, there are a lot of fives. But I made $75 selling so here's two 40... pizzas last turn, so... Yeah. Uh, we're going to leave, actually. We're going to turn these to 20. Here, is that, is that a, b- a better visual I'm of how we make $75 in the next bank? turn with my waitresses. So that's definitely... Waitresses good. plus other stuff. And there's whatever you Waitresses sell. and then plus your CFO. Is that including your CFO? That's CFO waitresses. So yeah, like the bank's going to break. This right. Yeah, so probably final turn. All right. Uh, well, that just in make mind. as much money as you can. Yeah, I... Regret choices I've made. <laughs> uh, a thing with this game, maybe the thing with this game, uh, similar to a lot of games, honestly, you have way fewer turns than you think you do. It um, the the second part of this game goes so fast. You say, "Oh, we're adding all this money." Especially okay, we well, four hundred bucks. Right, Mike and I are. Yeah, well, even even you know, other times uh, it starts. Both. You know, you start taking out one hundred and fifty dollars every turn. Or yeah. So let me just yeah. ask. It looks like there's a garden on that house that sold a beer. Did you forget to double the base price for the yes. sale? You get more money. Uh, you're right. I did. Yes. I, the, the last turn I got it. This turn I forgot right. it. Um, Good point. Uh, no. 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 I, I did. I took. Uh, um, you should have had thirty from that beer. One beer. Uh, no. I should have twenty plus five. I should have twenty-five. Is that how that works? Yeah. You double and the base price, and the five is the bonus max. So you're right. I did forget this turn to take that. All right. So take um, five extra dollars. So I should have an extra. Ten extra dollars. Um, no, because I'm taking off a dollar from it, so I should have an extra uh, nine dollars. Okay. Yes, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Whoever whoever called that out, Ben name? Uh, Samuel Taylor. Samuel Taylor, I thank you for that. Give me a little extra cash. <laughs> That's how that works. Thank you. Pay me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, I have my stuff down. Yeah, same. Mike. Yeah, I'm kind of effed. Not effed, but, you know, unhappy with... Looking at money right now, I, I think right Mike now. is going to win this. I'm hoping to. We'll see. Uh, the waitress, waitresses... Waitress are we, are we ready to reveal? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if the all-waitress strategy has paid off... Ten, wait, ten waitresses, I'm going to lose my mind because... <laughs> well, I think... Ten the, waitresses... I think the kimchi strategy more paid yeah, off here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Although these ten waitresses have helped. With no, it's, it's absolutely... Yeah. He hasn't made that much money off those. I've made like a hundred bucks, maybe. The fact that the no, bank is so slim, probably just like I guess because the bank right. is small, yeah. Yeah, right. If we had all put three hundred in, it would be like, why did I hire all these waitresses? Sure. Um, anyone all have right. any open slots? I do not. All right, same. It should be like that, actually. Mike, no. no. All right, James. Uh, I'll stay first. I'll stay second. Jimmy, what are you playing? I'm playing JVP management trainee, burger cook, pizza chef, errand boy, marketing trainee, and luxury. Your marketing trainee can't do anything. There are no billboards available. Well, well, just to be clear, yeah. I just want you to know that you can't steal the last billboard you know from what? me. He's a nice guy, and uh, I'm just showing him the ropes. I'm gonna. Um, he said, "I want to get into luxury oh, someday." Well, is that okay? Mike, give me a second. <laughs> Hold on, I'm waiting. What's? Oh well, you, it already started. Oh, did, you, did you turn me down? I just did now. You. You're good. <laughs> Ooh, that maybe <laughs> jump an inch. Sorry, buddy. No, you're I good. Forgot that the wire. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to check check that chair wire. Yeah. was terrible too. Well, I will be right back. I'm last turn, so that's good for me. All right, James. Um, I will hire hiring? the last waitress. No, there are two waitresses still. Well, I just wanted like a troll hire, because um, this is going to be it. So I don't know, whatever, Aaron boy. Um, and then uh, I'm going to make three burgers. And eight pizzas. There's one hundred and seventeen dollars left in the bank. Yeah. Uh, eight pizzas, one beer. Can't market anything. Um, and that's Always me. like that's your turn. Okay, uh, I am going to hire the last waitress. Or no, you didn't hire the last one. I didn't hire. I'll, I'll yeah. hire a wait. No, a kitchen trainee. Kitchen trainee. At least, and uh, I'm going to train him right up to a pizza cook. I at least want to know in my head that I had a pizza cook. Uh, I should have got one. You early. could have made more than two pizzas. Yeah. If this was not the last turn. Yeah, and I would have been able to pick up quite a bit too. Uh. Uh. All right, and yeah. then 
I will produce pizzas. And a beer. And a beer, two beers, but I have them right here actually. Uh, and regional manager, should I move my thing? I will, I'll put it right here. I don't know that it'll help all that much. No, I won't change. I'm not limited. Like, other than the kimchi, I will win every distance right now because I'm selling for less than you guys, especially with mm -hmm. your luxuries managers. And I'm one and zero from anything that's selling stuff. Yeah. But I just don't have the. You guys goods. just can't make pizza. I just can't make stuff. Right. And so I needed um, to get a pizza cook earlier. Uh, a couple, if I had if I had taken a turn off and gotten my two kitchen trainees to pizza cooks, I would have sold all that pizza last round with two pizza cooks. Right. These houses are the only things that, it, well, and this. I'm getting this, this beer and those right. two. But like these three houses are the only things that you guys will you guys will sell, and I'll sell yeah, the remaining four. four pizzas for $150 after the CFO. True, yeah, yeah, your luxury's made in CFO. Yeah, I, I made the mistake, kind of doing the post-game discussion right now, uh, I, made the, <laughs> I made the mistake of not getting pizza cooks earlier because yeah. I would have been cleaning up the last couple of rounds. I even ditched a pizza cook because I didn't need yeah, one. Yeah, because you didn't need them, but uh, yeah. I employed uh, that game. It is your go. Yeah, I've, I've hired okay. all my stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna hire, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna hire a waitress and then Make a we pizza. both should have hired waitresses to make a pizza. Just be in that market. <laughs> yeah, done. To deny Mike. Okay, uh, great that's dinner time. Market. Starting with number two. That's a kimchi to Mike. That's ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars, forty dollars to Michael. And I'll set mm -hmm. that aside. Yep, set it aside. Uh, and then we have a pie, which is mm. going to go to me, selling it for uh, nine eighteen. And then we have nine and three quarters, that which is go going to me. James. And I'll sell it for... Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40. Uh, 50, because I was the first to market pizza. Two, 40, 50. I'm just going to start taking from the general supply because yeah, yeah. uh, the bank is broken. So right there are there's like uh, $9, $9 left. Yeah. So. Uh, then we've got number 16. Which I'll I don't sell. have any pizza for that, so you're going to sell that for... Um, uh, 25. 25, yep. 25 to James. This 21 is going to go to you as well for, for the same 25. price. 25. And the beer goes to Scott. And the beer goes to me for 9, 18, uh, plus 5 for a cool 23. I get 50 uh, right. from my waitresses. Two, nope, two, four, 50. There you go. And right. then we get CFO money. And then you get 50% so on top I made $100 of $100 this turn, so I get 50. Okay. 20, 40, 50 for you. Mike, what are you at right now for? 90. You have 90, so you get 45. 20, 45. All right, and that is going to be the game. Let's add up our money here. Do we pay salaries this You turn? do not. Because you would just fire. Right, you can fire at any time. So you if the bank's broken, you would just fire everyone. Easier yeah. just to not pay salaries last turn. Uh, does anyone have any bets for people that have been watching? Does anyone, before you guys announce how much money you have, does anyone think uh, Mike won or James won? Like, or, or which one of them? <laughs> I, I'll tell you I did not win, but which one of them do you think won? This where I should sing another song. You could while we're adding up it. No, Absolutely, Ben. No, no. I did not get any feedback at all about my song, so I'm already feeling incredibly <laughs> self conscious about it. I thought it was lovely. Well, thank you. I, also I think it was lovely. that you should do it again, in spite of the fact that apparently the internet. Is. Yeah, I think it's actually very close between me and Mike. I think those. Um... I think that one turn that I didn't make any money really hurt me. We got one vote for James. So far. Well, I have my uh, final number as soon as everyone else is ready. Mm -hmm. I have my final as well. <laughs> okay. My right. vote, personally, I'm not counting these, I'm just kind of eyeballing colors and kind of feeling how you guys were going. I think Mike is going to win this. I think Mike was making a lot of money with the kimchi luxury manager right. sales and picking up some yeah, good extras from the waitress. I was taking money from you for a check. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, uh, so. I made a cool 
three hundred and five dollars. Mm. I made coming up in the end. I'll tell you, I made a hundred and twenty-four. Three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Mike wins. This is a very, by, very close. <laughs> what, what were you at? Three hundred four. Three hundred five. Three hundred five. So twenty yeah. bucks. Mike won by twenty dollars. Like a sale. A uh, sale. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. 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 Uh, less with your luxuries manager. Yeah. That's less than a sale. Yeah. Hey, waitress gambit wins the up. day. All right. So now we. Like now, going into whatever <laughs> whatever the next uh, scenario is for these, you and I have an absolute rivalry because yeah, okay. this is the, now you, the second you, time on the stream too. that you've beat me by very a sailor. Little. Pit, very little, right? Yeah. yeah. The one, last one was closer, right? Uh, you yeah you I, I think you it was won. pretty similar. Yeah. Like it I think I think it was yeah like twenty or thirty dollars right. if that like it, again like a sale it would be yeah. like oh if one thing. Uh, yeah, I, I, like I was saying before, when you were in the bathroom, Mike, I made the mistake of not getting pizza cooks. Because if I, even two turns ago, I think, if I got pizza cooks, if I had two pizza cooks running instead of two kitchen trainees, yeah. I would have taken all the pizza sales on the map, yeah. which yeah. would have been uh, 9, 18, 27, 36. Uh, like, I, I would have, uh, actually, well, we, actually, with your CFO, you still, you would have made a lot of money. Yeah. But just the fact that, um, you would have been in the game. I was able to outproduce you guys. Like if, I would have if, made like 60-ish dollars. If you had been able to compete production-wise, I would have made like 80. I would have been dead in the water. That one turn where you you had four pizzas and Mike had two, mm -hmm. that killed me. You didn't like, make anything. Yeah, I didn't yeah. make any money, and I would have gotten the CFO a turn earlier, and Mike wouldn't have uh, if it hadn't been for that one turn. Someone did guess Mike just at the wire. They guessed Mike, maybe? It's, they didn't even know. They couldn't tell exactly how much yeah. money you had. Because sure. you can't really see your chips sure. in the shot. Sure. But they guessed, yeah. Um, but yeah, I... Uh, Thank you I for was, believing in me. I was trying to shift what was getting marketed a little bit. Because it was all coming from billboards. Mm -hmm. I was just doing it too late based on the, the amount of money in the game. If there was... Even two hundred more dollars, the game would have lasted another turn. I think. Well, I, no, maybe not actually with your CFOs. Right. But, I got lucky, just being yeah. able to like react to what you guys were doing and having the kimchi made that easy. Sure. Because with the kimchi, I just go. I know I can only snag one thing from them. So right. what do I want to snag this turn? It's and like I, the, I, the opposite of what I wanted to right. do, which was. This was smart. So this, where you got this guy on two, mm -hmm. yeah, that hamstrung me a ton. Right. Because there's nothing I can do now. I have the, to take the that The only guy. thing you could have done is make, get the new the new business developer. Yeah, that's And true. build the one house. Over there. Which maybe is fine, because you'd get a garden and you'd be able to sell something to kimchi. But then that's like a multi-step process of... Right. What I, I was going to do... house and market to what I, was, I should have just campaigned with my marketing trainee... And thrown, I was gonna throw lemonade on shit. Oh, sure. And then be yeah. like, I have my Aaron boy grabs a lemonade. So now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna decide to take this because I can make two pizzas and a lemonade. Right. Instead of having to take that. Uh, but this game would have been very different if there had been even, you know, one 300 in the bank or, you know, yeah, something it would like have changed that. a like, lot. It was a very small bank, and I think that really. Honestly, you know what would have been wild in this game, which I was I noticed it about uh, two turns ago, which is why I ended up recruiting and upgrading up to a campaign manager, is a mailbox. This is one of the few games... I've played probably like 20 games of Food Chain Magnate. Um, excuse me. This is one of the very few times I've seen a mailbox that could cover yeah. almost every house on the I'm map surprised nobody a did mailbox. It. I'm surprised nobody did a mailbox. A single anymore. mailbox, like here would have got 15, 16, 25, 2, pi, and 22. Yeah. Like, it, it would have hit all of these. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised. Because that does go through houses. goes through houses. Yes, it goes right. through everything but roads. So, um, well, so, like, yeah, a, a mailbox would have covered the map. And, like I said, I picked up my campaign manager in an attempt to do that, but there just wasn't enough money in the yeah, bank. Yeah, I, I had I campaign wanted to manager on all over. round... Two or whatever, uh, round three. And you maybe. put them on as a mailbox. Yeah, or as a as a billboard. That's what um, I mean. Because I wanted I wanted first billboard. That's mine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wanted first billboard played, which I think was a better move for me overall, uh, especially because I could take up space with the billboards. If you're mm -hmm. going, um, tip for everybody who wants to try the waitress gambit, definitely make the smaller bank. 
because that's sure. gonna, that's where right. how you win. Yeah, that doesn't pay off. I have whenever, won when it's nine hundred dollars. Yeah, I've I've won before with uh, going mass waitresses. You can't only do that. Which I know when we first started playing this game, you were always thinking, how can I win with only using waitresses? Well, it wasn't only, but it was like literally because uh, I didn't do that this time. But if you if you rushed. Mm -hmm. 10 waitresses sure rushed evp with 10 waitresses like literally that's all you did every turn which i didn't do i did other things so that was what i was saying which sure. they, they, after you get to 10 but you're still like four turns in by the time you get to 10 or i mean you still have to do one two three four yeah four upgrades four upgrades before you get so, so you're four turns, turns in before yeah. you're at 10 yeah, it and doesn't. And spend time hiring because you're only and, making fifty bucks a turn right. at best. Well, if you do the EVP with ten waitresses and then two waitresses in addition to that EVP, you're making but sixty what do you, bucks a turn. What do you do once much. you get to EVP? That could change. I could sway the game because then after you get to EVP, you could grab a couple of things and try to snag some. I right? think the trick so. with waitresses, and I've won once where a couple of turns I played twelve waitresses. Really? The way it worked for me was I saw a giant. Uh, discount war coming yeah and i didn't feel like i was in a good spot to win that and so i started hiring waitresses every turn i had two recruiting girls i would hire two waitresses and something else right two waitresses something else and i was selling stuff and i i kind of did some quick math in my head and mathed out when i thought i would start losing sales to discounts and i was right i i, I was right on the turn that would have happened and that was the turn I played all my waitresses. The game only lasted another like three turns, mm -hmm. and I ended up winning by about like twelve dollars. Mm -hmm. um, and had I not had that guaranteed income of waitresses, I wouldn't have won. But right. it's really you have to do it in a game where you you can sell stuff. Like you were selling things with kimchi. Kimchi is the perfect and you can one flip. to, to do yeah. it with because this you're stealing stuff yeah. easily. You're not going to get priced up. So this, with kimchi, you're literally never going to not sell something. Right, you're right. definitely going to sell something, which is great. So get a luxuries manager. So you get a luxuries manager and a kimchi, and you go all waitresses, and then you're just like snaking a couple of things here and there and building up your waitress army to sure. grab Sure, so you get one possible. good sale and then an extra 50 bucks or whatever And in the first be. few turns, one good sale is all there is often. Yeah, you're yeah. right. True, so. true. Because yeah, off this one pizza, you were making... Ten dollars for the base like 40, plus it was forty dollars for the luxuries, turn, yeah. and then you're selling the kimchi for the same. And, and the first and the waitresses. I should have got tried to get these one turn earlier, which I didn't, and I messed up. But if I had, I mean, I could have snaked those at least for another turn. Sure. I don't know. I mean, I think it was it was really just. Well, we know we have yeah. the asterisk on it because I had the one turn where yeah. sure. got a couple we'll, comments. Uh, yeah, some someone just uh, won a game online of, of Food Chain Magnet, and they won by only one dollar. <laughs> uh, speaking of close games, and so, someone else was saying, always feels good. taking uh, away sells from someone with their CFO either by changing demand or undercutting is the equivalent of taking 1.5 sells away. So if you can stall them out a couple of turns while you're getting while you get something going is a strong move. And sure. there's also a milestone in the new milestones that lets you take a hundred dollars out of the bank, yes. perfect yeah. for the for waitress me. strategy. For every right. like three dollars, yeah, we, we've, we've talked about yeah. that. Um, that is good. But haven't actually used it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that was the Korean city scenario in Food Chain Magnate, uh, the, the, the ketchup expansion and other ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. Um, enjoyed Ben's beautiful singing. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, yeah, if, if, if you enjoyed this kind of content and uh, the other stuff we've put out, whether you're new to the channel or you've seen it before, Consider subscribing and certainly consider going to phasingplayer.com slash donate and send us a couple bucks, either through PayPal as a one-time donation or Patreon as a recurring monthly one. Uh, the money you give us makes us feel real good and helps us, you know, Im improve the content we put out. Buy better equipment, uh, add some more stuff in. Uh, pizza. And yes, I try to I try to buy pizza and uh, pastries also, which please, fellas, no, I yeah, eat one. Eat one. Eat I actually pastries. will yeah. eat one. Uh, For sure. It's uh, Ponchki Day here in... It's Chicago. about to be a couple days from now. Yeah, yes, it's not yet, but it's, yeah. we're building up to it, and you can buy these. It's so like went a to, weird. Went to Dinkle's Bakery and bought some punchkies today. And, it's basically uh, just a jelly filled donut. But, that's what I was saying to Haley. But my wife Haley had never had good. one, and I was like, it's pretty much just a jelly filled donut, but uh, they're tasty. So yeah. I got a few for the people here. So please go go eat them. I will. Uh, I will. And uh, yeah. Anyway, your your donations and your subscriptions and comments and support um, all means a ton. It's uh, it's it's a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, and enjoy growing the channel. 
uh, looking at some studio spaces, might be moving into a studio space. Yeah, I mean, we got, we, I've got one now. Hopefully it works out for the stream because I think it would make setup easier and we wouldn't have to... Uh, a little more consistent. A little more consistent. We wouldn't start late. Hopefully, I don't know, you know, just <laughs> kind of hopefully like makes things a little more streamlined and yeah. it doesn't force your wife to sit on the couch and watch <laughs> the movie with us. <laughs> uh, yes, Haley is, a, is an angel. <laughs> yes, uh, anyways, that's going to be it for us tonight. And Someone, someone's really hoping that you that if they donate, they'll get some good PAX transhumanity rants. <laughs> yeah. Really oh yeah. Them. If you uh, right. donate a few dollars, and we can uh, set up a uh, twenty-four hour stream of Mike ranting about PAX transhumanity and yeah. uh, Phil and Matt Eklund's perfect uh, ideas. I'm just. Um, I still, and I, I know this is probably never going to happen, but I still would love to do an interview with Matt Eklund, where we kindly debate. The Pax, Pax Transy Man. Uh, Matt, Matt has been uh, very kind, very supportive of the channel. Um, yes. I, yes. I, I've, talked to Matt. I've talked with Matt in a handful of He was of on the Pax Transy Man. He, was, he, he was in yeah. the chat for a Pax Transy Man. I, I chatted with Matt because I ran the Pax Chan. You did. Transy Man. You did. So. But. I would love to well, have a one on one with him. Yeah. I'm, I just, if he's interested, I'm interested. Well, perhaps in the future, uh, that, that can be some content we bring to Phasing Player if. Um, if that's something Matt Eklund would be interested in doing. <laughs> Probably uh, not. But uh, if, I, I don't know what we're going to be <laughs> streaming next. Um, we kind of figure it out w w a few days, maybe a week in advance. But we will be bringing more Food Chain Magnet content in the future. I'm looking at the rule book right now. The uh, If we're just going down the line of scenarios, the next one is pretty straightforward. Nightlife. Nightlife, which is new milestones plus night shift managers, which had gotten mentioned before as a, uh, yes. an interesting combo. So that, if we do Food Chain Magnet again, uh, well, when we do, we certainly will. I don't know if it'll be next, but we certainly will. Uh, expect some, some nightlife uh, scenario coming up. But that's going to be it for us tonight. I uh, got to go clean up, got to eat a little more food, maybe crack another beer. And uh, until next time, Ben. Right, let's see if we can nail this. Let's see if we can nail <laughs> this. Let's get the fade it. out. Yeah, this is it. Uh, have a good night. <laughs> And God bless the XFL, because it's back, baby. Oh, you missed it.